Hello, hello, guys. Hello and welcome. Hey, hey. Hello. Who is in the building today? This is the Art Sippers Experience Show. Thank you guys for joining us. We're celebrating. Yeah, let's we're celebrating. dance. We always have a let's dancing dance. intro. So if you're with us, guys, let's dance. Woo! Come on. Ho. It's Wednesday. It's always a celebration of Art Sippers, guys. So we create our and we have sips. It's what we do. We are the art sippers. Yes. So if you want to have a dance with us, this is what we do to welcome you guys to our lovely experience. What are you some sipping energy on? To energy, welcome. good vibes, <laughs> and some creativity. Guys, dance with us right Hi, now. Hi guys. Hi Bianca. Hi Woo. Sophie. Come on. Hey KJ. Oh. Hey Holly. Hey How's hey. It going? What Thank are you, guys you for joining on? us. What are you guys sipping on? Are you sipping with us today? Hey. Yeah. Hi Scarlett, hi Nicole, how are you doing? Oh, this <laughs> is the dancing intro. So we do this every Friday night on Art Sippers Live. And we're now bringing it to you guys at the yes. Natural History Museum. Thank this you, Natural is History Museum. bonkers. So thank you so much for joining us, guys. We're going to get you guys creating something amazing today. Put the sip sip bell. This is very important, guys. This is important. So whenever you hear this bell, you have to have a cheeky sip. sip a cheeky sip. 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 So, we're going to be sipping on some side show tonight. We'll tell you a bit about that in a minute. But we want you guys to create something magical today. I yes. think you guys know what that is. Do you know what it is? Hope the Blue Well. Yes, we're all going to be creating Hope the Blue Well. But before that, let's have a little dance. <laughs> a little dance. We're just waiting for some people to join. Everyone, Everyone joins usually us. takes about five minutes. So, we have a oh. little dance. We bring the vibes, we oh. have the, bring up the energy, get you all excited. Come on. So yeah, let's, he's doing a little bit of salsa now. I love a salsa. A little salsa. I love a salsa. Uh, we're playing oh. Hope the Blue Well today. This oh. is the version in grey. We guys want you to, uh, to be really creative today. Try and paint in different colours, match your decor at home. Go for it, guys. We want you guys to express yourself on the canvas. I know that some people haven't painted since high school. Mm -hmm. And we want all of you to get expressive on the canvas. Everyone can paint. We know it. It's a fact. It's, it's all about just expressing yourself on that white, black, or white <laughs> canvas. Whatever canvas you have. Whatever canvas. Just get yourself Art. on that canvas, guys. It's going to be an amazing experience. And you're going to have something to hang up on the wall that you're proud of. Yes. Come on. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, um, I'll just tell you a little bit about the format of today's show. So, I'm going to teach you and um, tell you about the tools that you'll need. Uh, you can use loads of different tools. So, I'll just tell you some of the tools that I'm using today. Then we're going to tell you about Sip of the Week. So as we said, we are Art Sippers. Um, we bring people art and we bring people sips. Love it. So we're going to tell you a little bit about the Sip of the Week. We're also then going to go um, to the competition wall. Well, and we're, we're going to tell you all about the competition that's going on today, the prizes that you can win today. You can win some prizes, yeah, guys. Not only are you creating art, you can win some good prizes. It's we'll going to be cool. That. There's some good prizes on offer. So you can win some prizes today. We'll tell you about that. And then we're going to have a little mindful moment. Ooh. We do that to get everybody into the zone. So expect a little mindful moment as well. And then we'll get on with the painting. So it's going to be a good one today, guys. It's going to be really cool. Hi, Kate. How's it going? If you're here, guys, Hi, give Kate. us a wave. So we can't see and you guys. So give us a wave if you're in the room. This is a lovely family-friendly event. So if you're with your friends, your family, this is a great way to get together. Yeah. Being creative together is so good, especially during times like this. Being creative is just the best. Yeah. So we're so happy to be with you guys tonight. Are you Kate guys happy? happy? Come he's on. excited. <laughs> Keenan, you've not been painted for a while because you've been lazy. No, come on. Time to do it today, though. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. Hi, Helen Pickett. Hello, Pickett. Hi, Leslie Burrow. How are you guys? How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> we see you guys. We see you. Bing, hello, hello. So if you are a regular sipper, if you've been here before one of our events, give us a wave. If you're a first timer, give us a wave too. We it. are so appreciative of you joining us tonight. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a very good one. Hi, Candice and Lacey, aged eight. Awesome. So tell us what you're sipping. You can sip non-alcoholic or alcoholic beverages. We just want you to sip. So We're it doesn't matter. We today. are, we are. You guys might want to be sipping on some juice. It's fine. Tea, it's okay. But if you're drinking some cocktails, let us know which cocktails you're drinking too. So we're just gonna explain the tools, guys. We're gonna go tools, through the tools. Let's do it. Okay, so the tools I'm using today. So I've got my big brush. So it's a big flat big brush. Thing. I love saying big brush. It's just a thing big I do. Brush. You hear me say that now and again. My big flat <laughs> brush. I've also got a medium brush. It's a little round feel bit. Can you see that, guys? 
a round feel bit brush. It's okay if you don't have all these brushes, you can just have one and kind of make do. Um, and then I've got a little small brush, so it's a little round detail brush. Love it. I've got a palette knife. You don't need one of these, if you don't have one of these, it's totally fine. I can kind of teach you a different way of using um, your brush as a palette knife. We've got a palette knife today, and I've got a pencil. Love be it. Sketching out hope just before. So it's the perfect time to get all your tools, guys. If you've got all your tools around, perfect. If you haven't, great time to grab your tools. And then, and then, what I've are we going to show you? I've got some acrylic paints today, guys. I just stuck my finger in the acrylic paint. It happens, it happens. <laughs> so I've got some acrylic paints today. Um, if you guys are using watercolours at home, that's totally fine. It is going to be a different process of painting it, but that's totally fine. You can kind of do what you can with the watercolours, post the paint. If you're using an iPad, some people are using iPads, they've used iPads before. Pencils, pens, totally fine. Get involved, do what you can. Um, but I'm using acrylic paint today and I'm going to be teaching the acrylic paint method. Love it. So I've got some white acrylic paint. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? Cerulean blue, ultramarine. Daylo blue, so that's like a turquoise. One of my favourites. Yellow ochre, so it's okay if you just got some primary yellow. Put some black, some gold, mm. and some pink. That's so our colour. The gold and the pink are kind of, you don't have to have them, they're totally fine. But as well guys, we we actually paint in our arts with colours. So it's always, a thing, it's yeah. a thing. So we, we are pink, pink, we're blue, and we're yellow. So all of our paintings usually have that colour. If you guys want to paint in any different colour, feel free. Feel free. <laughs> we don't mind. We want you to do that. If I your hope wants to it. be purple, make a purple hope. We've had it before. So <laughs> we, we had, we had we people painting have. the background in yellow and painting the kind of arches in pink. You can have a pink well if you want. You can kind of get really creative with this one. Just mix it up. Do what you like. So I'm painting today. Well, I decided I'm going to go for the grey one today. Love it. We Love do actually you. have, you can see just over here, we have the turquoise version as well. So you guys can do turquoise at home if, you, if you'd like to do the turquoise. But I'm going to kind of teach the grey one today. Do you ever get any paint on you guys? If anyone's been to one of our events before, you know what we have. It's called baby wipes. Baby, <laughs> do we have baby them? Where are baby wipes? So this is literally a lifesaver. It saves the day. So if you haven't got any baby wipes near you, go grab some now because they can actually save the day. You get any acrylic paint on your fingers or lovely, lovely tip, if you get any mistakes on your canvas and you want to wipe it off, baby wipes are the perfect little handy tool. Literally the most perfect handy really, tool. Really, really handy. And also, guys, we are sipping today, as we just said, we're sipping Sideshow. So should we tell them a little bit about Let's tell them a little bit about Sideshow. So Sideshow is a cold brewed sparkling tea. Can you see that? No, so we always bring a little sip for our sippers. This is a non-alcoholic today. It's a family-friendly yeah. one. So we thought there's going to be a few kids here today. So we thought, do you know what? We'll, we'll drink some cold <laughs> brewed tea. Today. What one have you got? What you got? I'm got actually, I'm actually um, drinking Darjeeling. Darjeeling is quite woody, fruity flavours. It's black I tea. Black have fruit got tea. the Hojika. Hojika, <laughs> Japan. Imagine going to crack it open. Do you know what? That's got green tea. The Hojika has green tea. Green, green tea. tea version. Beautiful. Nice and cold. Okay, let's have a little gander. So I'm going to pour up. Guys, it's a perfect time to grab your sip and tell us what and you're sipping cold. on. What are you sipping on? I'm going to pour mine out. Is anybody sipping on it? Hey, Cameron. Hey, Joy. Ooh. Hey, Beatrice. Ooh. Hey, B. That looks good. Whoa. Guys, you know what time it is. So that right. girl's a sipping bell, so I'm going to sip. Let's have a sip. Let's have a sip. Let's have a cheers. Let's have a cheers. Cheers. Sip, cheers, guys. sip. Hooray, guys. Cheers. Oh. Do you know what? Weirdly enough, that's actually quite like nutty. Mine's, mine's quite woody. Yeah, it's like kind of nutty and Fruity. toasty. It kind of reminds me of like peanut butter. Have a little taste. Guys, what are you sipping on tonight? Are you sipping on an alcoholic or non alcoholic uh -huh. beverage? So cheers to you guys. Cheers to you. Let us know what you're sipping on tonight. Have we got tonight. everybody here? Let's have a look. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Bing. Oh, we got loads of people here. Oh, we've got Fanta, sipping on Fanta. Hi, ah, Lucy. Look what I've just seen. Guys, if you like what we're sipping on tonight, you can actually get it from the... Yeah. You can get it from it, their website. It has, it has the little handle in the banner. And I think you get 10% off yeah. if you put the art sippers. Come on. <laughs> you put our little lovely name in the checkout, you get 10% off the lovely side check. Look market. at that. Living the dream. Market, market. So, also, we have competition today. So, let's tell you a little bit about the competition. So, let's do it. Should, we, should we go to the competition wall? Do let's you know go to the competition wall. We're doing it. Where's the competition wall? <laughs> let's make there it happen, go. guys. There Look at that. Goes. We've done it. High You're tech. like, how have we done that? How has he got there this fast? Because he's all over the place. So, guys, <laughs> this is our competition wall. Nice and high tech, as you can see. So, what you can do, you can actually win some prizes today. So, how you win some prizes? I'm going to throw out some dad related. 
puns and some jokes and some artifacts. You see what I did there? You hey. see what I did there? And if you get them correct and get them first, so if you answer first in the comments, we'll pop you up onto the board. Oh. So if you go up on the board, we're then going to put you into a raffle, put you into a hat, and at the end of the night, a beret. <laughs> into the beret, and then we're going to pull out the winners and you can win some fantastic prizes. Who doesn't want to win prizes? Just a little disclaimer go for on, you guys. So we um, have a master controller who's yeah. going to be um, finding out who's the actual winner. So he'll be sorting that one out. <laughs> um, also, the prizes are only for UK. Um, yes. If you are in a different country and you do win, you have probably have to pass your prize to someone here in the <laughs> Who's UK. In the UK, UK residents yeah. only. So guys, the prizes are amazing. Do you want to tell what the yeah. third prize is? Third prize. Go on, what is da, it? Da, da, da. A creative art kit for two. Yeah. So you can join us at one of our art simplest events again. And a set of you can get questions. creative with us, guys. It's a great little set. 18 piece set. This could be yours. All you too. need to do is answer the questions correctly. Artifacts. The second prize, what's the second prize, Jojo? Dun, da, da, da. You get this, piece of paper. No, you don't. You actually win. This is a gift voucher to one of our Art Simples events when we go live again to the public. So right now, we're doing this from our little living room. But when we go live again, when we're allowed to actually be outside again, you'll win two tickets to Art Simples Live. This is what the second prize is. Awesome. Come on. And what's the first? First prize. First prize. Two what's tickets to the what? Natural I History Museum's Wildlife Photography of the Year. It's a great exhibition, guys. I've seen some of the lovely, lovely photos. Ace photos. And you get two tickets to that event. So that's our top prize for tonight. All you need to do is answer the questions correctly. It's easy. It's a mixture of like jokes and proper dad jokes. Like, it's a complete mix. So yeah, if you love one. your dad jokes, you're, in, you're, you're probably going to be up there on the board. You'll probably be cringing. <laughs> okay, probably so that's the competition. Cringing. That's competition wall. And also, on that, NHS. guys, you know what this is about. The Natural History Museum is a charity. So all these lovely events that we're doing, they are for you. And the way that we can keep the Natural History Museum totally free is the way that you guys donate to the lovely, lovely charity that they are. So if you want to donate, yeah. is it, yeah. right there. What's the handle, Jojo? Let them know. NHM.ac.uk. She almost knew off by heart. Slash donate. <laughs> she said that very well. She said that very well. So, no, this is really important, guys. It really um, is. The, yeah, as Elliot said, the museum is a charity. It Absolutely. relies on your donations. So, please, anything would really, really, really be appreciated. Be appreciated. I'll appreciated. Take that. We will appreciate you. So, we guys, appreciate to you. keep it free, we need some donations from you guys because it's going to be great to keep the lovely natural history museum going. For free, yeah, forever. they're Let's bringing you all these events as well, completely free of charge. So, yeah, anything would be massively appreciated. So, guys, I think it might be time. I think it might be time to yeah. go to. Let's come back to the main camera. <laughs> da, 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 da. So, um, just to kind of give you a little bit of a brief background on what we are and what we do, uh, we're art sippers. We usually do this in pubs and bars around London. But guess what, guys? We can't do that anymore. We can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, because of that, we were thinking, what are we going to do? And we realized that art is another form of mindfulness and meditation, yeah. and it gets people in such a good space. Yeah. So, we thought, we can't stop, even though we want to, because no, we're not sure. Not, especially at a time like this. It's the oh, perfect it's so thing helpful. to do. Yeah, for your mental health. So we decided to carry them on online. We've been doing them online on our Instagram, actually. Instagram, um, yeah. At Art Sisters, <laughs> if anyone wants to follow. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we do it on our Instagram every Friday night, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. every Friday. And our, and our Facebook as well. Yes, that's true. Um, and we run free events uh, just for anyone who wants to join in, really. And we've got the little greatest community of Sippers. Difference. Yes. So we're literally in our living right now. This isn't a studio or anything fancy. This is literally our front room, the smallest and little it's tiny living room ever. And it's so hot in here. It's quite so warm. Sorry if I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so my name's Elliot. And I'm Josie Pitcher. And together, well actually, we call ourselves Naughty Pitcher. Elliot Naughty, Josie Pitcher. It's a, it's a weird thing. Naughty Pitcher. It's a Naughty Pitcher. Like the jug. Like the jug of cocktail. It's meant to be. It's meant to, it's be. Meant to be. Naughty. Cheeky <laughs> jokes with the picture. It's art simple. This is what we do, guys. <laughs> this is what we do. So I think it's time to get involved with the painting. That's what you're all here for, right? And um, So you guys are going to need to grab your pencils. So grab your pencils for me. <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah. Let's do the mindful. Let's do the mindful moment, shall we? Let's do the mindful moment. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. So we want to before we start sketching. Let's get everybody into a mindful moment. Elliot. Okay. So guys, before we do the art, this is what we do at all of our experiences. We have people coming from work. We've got people coming rushing just to come to our events, 
And sometimes they're a bit flustered. They're a bit overwhelmed. And it's hard to be in that headspace to create art. So what we do is have a little breathing exercise just at the start. So if you're with us today, guys, just pop down your drink. I know you want to have a sip. Well, pop down that sip and just pop down your tools. And if everyone can just close their eyes. I know, I said it. I said close your eyes. And what we're going to do is a little breathing exercise just to get and clear your head out and you're ready for some creativity. So we go, everyone, close your eyes. We're in this together. We're a safe space. It's fine. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about something that makes you smile. Think of an event or a person. It could be a cat. It could be a dog. It could be an incident that made you smile. And when you've got that image in your head, I just want you to literally smile from ear to ear. And when you've got that, I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose and let's count to three. And as you've got that, I want you to exhale through the mouth. And let's do that again. Let's breathe in all of that compassion and gratitude. And then exhale through the mouth. Let's do that one more time, guys. I know you can. Breathe in that positivity. Fill your diaphragm to max. And then exhale through the mouth. Exhale that negativity. And slowly, everyone, let's open our eyes. Whoa! I completely Hi. disappeared there. I feel so relaxed. How are you guys feeling? Do you guys feel good? I feel good. Just quickly, guys, just to um, warn you, some of you might not have painted for a long time, since maybe school, um, maybe never painted before. That's true. Uh, some of you might be full-on artists. That's yep. totally cool as well. Uh, we might have, We might have, yeah, is any of the artists here? Um, we might have some kids as well, but you will feel kind of a roller coaster of emotions throughout this event, especially if you're quite new. That's true. Yeah. So Art what we want vulnerable. you guys to do, is relax. That's what the sip is yeah, all about. The sip, sip is to relax you. <laughs> but also, don't worry and don't compare yourself. Yeah. We have one rule at Art Sippers. What's one that one rule? rule? And that is one rule we take very, very seriously. Guys. How seriously? Very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no other adjectives. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we take it really seriously. We want you to not judge yourselves. So, or judge anyone else that's around. So that's our one rule at Art Sippers. No judgment. No judgment, guys. So. Please, if you're sitting there with flatmates, yep. family, yep. partner, yep. Uh, don't judge their work, don't laugh at their work. It's really, really important. As I said, we find it's very like vulnerable. Very when you're creating vulnerable. art, you're in a very vulnerable position. Yeah. And this is where sometimes you start to seize up because you're looking around, what are people going to say about my art? You, you know, don't, 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 yeah, relax. <laughs> it's a fun art. And if you do feel a bit, oh, guess what? <laughs> Have a sip, so you'll hear that bell throughout and you'll hear some jokes as well, guys. This is about having fun and enjoying and being creative. So let's start getting creative, guys. Let's do it, let's so do grab it. Grab your pencils again. <laughs> grab your pencils. Yeah. Love it. So grab your pencils, guys, and we're gonna start sketching out this. Let me just tell you which bit we're gonna do first. So but first, we're gonna sketch these arches, this window. You might want a ruler because there are quite like some really straight bits that you might need to use a ruler for and some measurements that you might actually want to measure out. I'm going to teach you how to kind of do it using your fingers as measurements and just quite briefly, quickly teach you how to do it. But yeah, at home you might want to use a ruler and kind of measure properly. Um, and then we're going to do the whale, which is really, really easy, guys. This is so easy to do. Uh, everyone is so capable of doing it. I believe in you. I think you're definitely going to be able to do this. 100%. Yeah. And then we're, and then we're, then we're going to start the painting. So we're just going to sketch this out. So, grab Before your that, are we going to go for one question? Go on, do it. Okay, guys. Well, well, well. You see what I did there? Well, okay, we're painting hope that well. Yeah, you still there are going to be some really bad dad related jokes. So if you don't like that, you're not going to like any of this. So the first question, if you get this right first, you go on the board. Okay, so the first one is, what type of paint do whales use when creating art? I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. What type of paint do whales use when creating art? These are dad related guys. Go so for it guys. It's always gonna be straightforward, but I believe in you guys, I believe in you. So you have a first, whoever gets it first goes on the board, go on the board to win prizes. That's it, let's go. Yeah, okay. Just topping up my drink, I've already got through half of it. Thank you. Love it. All right, so grab your pencils. Let's get sketching. So you're going to want to split your canvas into two. So do a line through the middle of your canvas. So if you're painting on um, card or anything at home, or if you're drawing, just try and split your canvas into two. My line's going to be very wonky. I'm not using a ruler. Doesn't matter. Nobody cares about the wonky. <laughs> I'm not using a ruler. I'm going to try and do my lines really quite thick and heavy as well so you guys can see at home. 
you're going to want to do this very, very faint. So don't do this too hard, not like how I'm doing. So split your canvas into two for me. And you can even split it into half as well. Okay. And please let me know if I'm going a little bit too fast. And don't worry if you do fall behind, you can always catch up. Yeah, don't this bit is probably going to be the part where we're going to need to kind of stay on track. Okay, so you've got your canvas split in two, both ways. And we're going to measure two fingers from the top. So it depends on how big your kind of canvas or the piece of paper or whatever you're using at home is. But I'm going to do two fingers from the top. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. So two fingers from the top and where that middle line is, just do a little line. That's going to be the top of these arches. So do a little line there. Oh, some people are coming in with the correct answers, guys. Ooh. Who's getting it right? Who's getting it right? So do that little line. So you can do it, if you're doing it on a small canvas, you could do one, or you could just measure it a centimeter or so. Okay, so we've got a little mark in there. We're gonna do exactly the same. Two fingers at the bottom, and we're gonna do a little line just there. This is gonna be the bottom. So we've got the line at the top and the line at the bottom. And we're going to do the side as well. So where that little middle line is, do it two fingers. As I said, you could measure this with a ruler at home if you wanted to be a bit more precise. Two fingers. It's quite exciting, isn't it? I'm excited. I hope you guys like our little playlist. So we've got a nice little playlist, guys. Royalty free. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we usually play some tunes that you can relate to, but right now we're actually playing some songs that are copyright free. So yeah. on Friday nights, we'll have some requests and songs that you guys want. But right now, this is our little playlist, and I hope you like it, guys. <laughs> found some good ones, I think. Yeah, actually found so, some good So um, so we're going to do two fingers at the bottom in the corner as well, and you're going to do a little line for me there. So you can do a little line like that, a bit, bit of a long line if you want to do. And then do two fingers this way, so we get the height again, the same height as we did over here. And you're going to do another line. Love it. So this is going to be your corner. Oh, Joe, so I think we might have had a, a first, a fast person getting their answers right. We've got some quick fingers here, guys. So <laughs> step it up. Everyone has to step it up. Okay, so we've got our corner there. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So two fingers, bring it in. Two fingers, look where the line is, bring it in. So that's going to be the other corner. So we're kind of getting the corners. There we, go. there we go so you've got your corners and now guys now you've got your corners we're going to do a straight line here so this is going to make the bottom of the arch guys this again as i said you might want to be leaning on something i'm doing mine kind of freehand here you no know, i think it gives it more character i think it gives it more yeah. character yeah it looks cool right like thanks babe yeah, I'm always supporting you. I'm always supporting you. <laughs> you gotta say that, don't you? I'm using my finger, actually. It's quite good. I'm using my finger as a guide. I'm just kind of going across. But do a line. That's the bottom now. You've got the bottom. Cool. So you've got your bottom. Hopefully everyone's keeping up. Okay, guys. It's time for the answer reveal. And have a sip. Did you hear that? That bell means you sip. If you've got a sipping beverage, have a sip. I haven't got one near me. She's, she's nicked mine. She's nicked my sip. So the question was, what type of paint do we all use when creating art? Did you guys get it? What is it? The answer is acrylic paint. Yay. Come up. Good. That's what I'm using Tumbleweed. Kind of. So the person who got it first, Lauren Ferguson. Yay. You're on the board. Come on. Yes, Lauren. You know what time it is. Because whales eat krill. They, they eat krill, loads of them. That's Come the main, on. their main food, right? Yeah, 100%. Right, so you got your bottom. So now you've got to join this corner to that middle line that we made. Let's do that. Straight, straight line here. You want it to keep the same um, width all the way down. So the same distance all the way down from the edge of the canvas. Again, guys, use a, use a ruler if you can. We're just getting this sketched out. Hopefully I'll paint it a bit. 
straight. Loving it. How are you guys getting on at home? Let us know. Are you on par or are you just behind or are you ahead? We always find that people at different speeds for our class. Right. So don't worry if you're faster or slower. Same this side, guys. Connect that line. So straight down. Feels like you're doing dot to dot, Jojo. Dot to dot. Exactly <laughs> that. Playing dot to dot. This isn't painting, it's dot to dot. Can you see? So this is the, the edges now. We've got the whole of the corner of these arch windows. By the way, um, this is actually based around the museum. So I don't know if you've seen um, the Natural History Museum's architecture, but they've got a lot of these arches, a lot of these windows. Kind of like golden arches. They look really cool. And Hope, of course, is in the hall. In the main hall. In the main hall. I want to tell you what, because that could <laughs> be maybe one of our questions. Don't do it, Jojo. Don't give it away. I always give the questions away. Josie always gives away my questions. So I've always got to be mindful that she doesn't do this during uh, the actual class. But yeah, that almost. I just know almost. so many facts, guys. <laughs> so we're now going to do this is the main hall. This is probably going to be the trickiest part. I've done the whole thing. <laughs> it's not tricky at all. So we're going to. Um, we're going to go from this slide, this little dot, this little line here, down to this one. But we're going to do it in a semicircle. Ooh. So you can actually use your wrist to kind of do this by going around like that. Um, or you could delicately try and do it freehand. But I like to use my wrist half the time and just kind of go around. Can you see how I'm just using a little bit of wrist movement and finger movement to Sword get that wrist. line? Sword in the wrist. Mainly in the fingers, actually. <laughs> now, I, now I think of it properly. It's kind of more in the fingers. And then do the same the other side. So you want it to try, try and be equal. Um, but again, you can rest your kind of hand onto the canvas. Use your fingers and bring it round. Again, as, as I said, I'm doing this in really heavy pencil. It, it looks quite messy on my canvas, but you're going to want to be doing this quite lightly. Yeah, that's true. So that, so that it, you can see it, but... If you're an artist, you might want to just do this freehand or do the background first. But because we have a lot of amateurs here, uh, a lot of kids, they like to work with a base to start with. So we're doing this sketch first. Yeah, so guys. We've got, we've got the arches coming along. Let guys. us know. When's the last time you painted? Yeah, we always tell love us to know comments. this. Tell us when is the last time you've actually got your pens, your paints out. We you find people haven't done it for years. They finished school years. and they just stopped. Yeah. They Why just stopped. Don't know. My granddad um, joined in the other day. He, he did. painted. He painted. Hello, my, granddad. Hi, granddad. Hi, all of my family, by the way. Hello, family. Um, what about my family? <laughs> and everyone's Hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> but um, yeah, my granddad joined in last week, and he hadn't painted since school. And it was good. It was a and he did great. He did absolutely amazing. He doesn't think so, but he did. Art is subjective. But he hadn't painted since school, and that's the thing. You, um, sometimes people get bad comments, or they compare themselves to someone else in the class, and um, and they're not as good. They think, or they can't paint realistic. Um, drawings, they can't draw realistic, so they think they're bad, but it's usually just down to the other person having a bit more practice and having a bit more patience. So, you, I, can, I believe in you guys, you we can, believe all, in you you can all do exactly the same today. So, um, bring in your two finger measurement again, the same measurement maybe that you had up here, bring it in here and do a little line. I was just about to just start doing it then without explaining. <laughs> so, so, yeah, bring a little line in. This is going to be, I'll show you what it's going to be. Come on, show me what you did earlier. So, <laughs> well, I did, this oh, is when I did earlier. So, uh, <laughs> so you just bring that down. This is going to be the top of this little arch here, this little alcove. And then we're going to do the top here and another top one there that we behind the whale. Love it. Okay, so we're doing the top one there. Now we're going to do a little pyramid. So this is just to get an idea of where... Can you see that line? Have I done that hard enough? Can you see that, guys? Let us know if you can't. We'll see if we can move that closer. We're so, trying to be as accommodating as possible. Like I said, we are in our front room. So we're not as high tech as you might think. <laughs> so I'm just doing a pyramid and this needs to be kind of equal. These two lines need to be equal, uh, the same angle. And, and this is where the top of the other little arches are gonna be. Okay, so do that one for me. Oh, we got people saying that they're sipping with us. Love it, love it, love it. We've got Baileys in the house. Someone's sipping yeah, Baileys. Baileys. Love that. Okay. Oh, someone doesn't have a drink yet. Come on, Walter B, get some yeah. drinks. Okay, so now we've got the kind of top there. So where these little markings are, we're gonna go directly down and do another little marking. Just two fingers in at the bottom again. Directly under these little markings that we've got here. We're gonna go directly down. This is the middle line, two fingers in. So this is gonna be the bottom of the arches. You got Emma saying I shouldn't have painted for years. Karen saying over 40 years ago. Wow. Karen Musket, wow. Keisha, oh. Harriet, 
Year nine was the last time. Guys, it seems Ooh. like a lot of you haven't paint for a, a long, long time. Diane did it two weeks ago. It's only Come a hobby. On, so then we've got two fingers here directly underneath, if you can. So this is going to be the bottom. And what we're going to do is these little semicircles. So the top part of the arch is here. Can you see how they're little semicircles? Just at the top. So we're going to do a few of them, just where the markings are. So here we go. Semicircle. This is going to be one of them. Nice. It's going to be another one of them. So you want to do three. And you want to do another one. So I'm going to just go over them to go a bit darker for you. Yours doesn't have to be that dark, remember, guys? Yeah, do it, do it quite faint so that you'll be able to see, but when you paint. It's time for another one, guys. Are you ready? Have you got your thinking berries on? Okay, let's do this. What do you call a whale with bad posture? Oh, oh. What do you call a whale with bad, bad posture? posture? Think about it. Use your nugget. I believe in you guys. First one who gets it right goes on the board. You go on the board, you win prizes. Come on. Let's do this, Sippers. Let's go. Okay, we've got our semicircles. How's it going at home? Have you done your semicircles? It'll be good if they're equal. My, my middle one's a little bit bigger, but these ones are definitely equal this side. And what we're going to do is we're going to go directly down. So we're going to go all the way down in line with this little marking that we had here. We're going to go directly down, um, keeping again the same width just down the side here. So let's bring that down. Use your ruler if you've got one at home. These guys are quick on the answers, Jojo. These Whoa, guys are quick. What are about? I literally thought maybe maybe these dad related whale jokes might not be going down. They're a bit obscure. But these guys are in. Can you see that? So this is the little border of the arc. And then we're going to go down on the other side as well. We're actually going to go down on all of them. So we're bringing uh, it all the way down to the, down to the, the bottom here of this canvas, not all the way down to the bottom, to that little line. So again, I'm trying to get a steady hand while standing up, but you guys will be able to lean um, and definitely get a little bit more control on it. If you're not in really control, down. have a sit. That gives you a steady hand. <laughs> yeah, the hand drawn look is fine, right? Yeah. It's a great look. No judgment, no judgment. That's our one rule, guys. You know it. So, bringing this one down as well. Down, 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 down. And down, 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 down. Hopefully yours isn't all smudging like mine. And you can actually cross these as well. When you get to the bottom, you can cross these. Some of this is not actually going to be shown anyway, um, because we actually do create a sea-like effect at the end. But it's always good to have, and it's good to paint. Can you see the gold coming through there? It's um, good to kind of paint in anyway. Let's hope it'll be well going through the arch. It's quite nice. It's a nice kind. Of, is it a breach position? Breaching, yeah. I think That's so. what we're calling it. We're calling it. If I'm wrong, guys, let me know. What is it called when a whale flips out of the sea, the ocean? Is this another? Is this another question? You're just throwing this out there as a random. I don't know. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know the answer, so you can't just throw it out there. I'm not 100. percent It's not. It's not a question for it's the not board. A question. It's just. It's just just asking. Right, so bring that down. I can see mine a little bit wonky, but hopefully yours are good at home. Bringing it down. And across. And there we go, guys! Yay! Go. Oh, thanks, Emma. Emma says she loves this. Do you know what? Thank you. It was our birthday last week. Yeah. Actually, I forgot. It was actually Art Simmons, but we've only been doing this for one year. People don't one know. One year old, guys. We are actually a couple. People don't know this. Yeah, we're, we're not breaking the We're not the, breaking the, the quarantine isolation rules. We yeah. are a couple and we're doing this for my living room. We're one years old. So if you do like this, guys, this makes our heart be, like burst. Burst yeah, happiness. We do really, yeah, we really appreciate any of your feedback. So it's true. Follow us on the socials. Good feedback, please give it to us. Bad feedback, keep it yourself. We're a bit fragile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if, you, if, you, um, if there's anything that we could change or make better, let us know. 100%. Um, but as well, like we really appreciate your support. Really um, good. If you follow our socials, we do discounts and we do competitions and stuff like that. So it's very easy to find us. us. We're art sippers online. <laughs> art sippers. Art sippers on Instagram, Facebook. That means that we create art and we always sip on something. Guys, we've got the lovely arches done now. I think it's time to do the whale. Before that, let me tell them who got the last question right. Go for it. So, the question was, 
What do you call a whale with bad posture? The answer was a hunchback whale. Come on. You know, that's good. The person who got it right, Elizabeth Lee. Come on, Elizabeth, you're on the board. You can win a prize. Come up. Come up. Sorry guys, I've got so much energy. I hope you guys have got as much energy. <laughs> it's the if sips. not, hopefully. This and this is an on our I'm just rubbing it. out that little pyramid bit that I did earlier, just because it might get in the way a little bit. Um, so our whale, as you can see, Hope, she's kind of um, flipping, <laughs> flipping backwards here. Um, you can see the nose is kind of coming off a little bit, and then it kind of comes, her body comes, comes around, bends around, and then kind of goes into the center of the little arches there. Love okay, it. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna draw that, we're gonna sketch that out. But I'm just gonna show you quickly while you're looking at this, it, um, at the kind of shapes that it looks like. So as you can see, it kind of looks, especially this little belly bit here, like a banana, can you see? So our aim is to kind of draw <laughs> something that looks a little bit like a banana it's gonna be to good. start with, and then we're gonna do the, the little body and the flippers, love okay? It. Okay guys, it's time for another one. I know you love this, I know you love it, because you guys are getting it quick. Let's do this. So, why did the whale cross the road? Why did the whale cross the road? Whales are on land now, guys. <laughs> They're on land. You hear that? Natural, uh, Natural History Museum fact there. That is, that is a damn related I'm, fact. I'm this is not, not genuinely real, guys. Okay. I believe that you can get this, though. I believe you can. So, as I said, the, the nose, I like to come in off and out of the arches a little bit. So, I'm going to do a little curve bit here. Let's do your little curve. And then this is going to come round. So, it's going to cut. I'm just going to do a little faint line. It's going to come round. And it's going to come into the centre. So that's going to be the kind of middle part of the whale. Can you see that? Guys, I know these jokes are horrendous, but they make me laugh. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> it keeps us happy through these strange times. You know what? As long as you can make yourself laugh, that's, that's what life's about. Life's about smiling. If you can smile, the world smiles with you. Who I, else is smiling? And I just home? made up that quote. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep you're it. you're smiling, what? What's your quote? The whole world smiles at you. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Quote's my naughty, guys. <laughs> right, so we're going to do a banana shape. Let's do it. So um, I've done my little line here. If it helps, you can kind of do a circle, like a little satsuma in the middle, and make sure that your lines are either side of that circle and that you're coming in kind of at the bottom here. So here we go. I'm going to do this quite thick, as I said. We're going to do our banana shape. So bringing it down into the middle. Hopefully. Is this the banana? Yeah, that's one side of the banana. Like it. We're going to do the other side. You of the don't banana. actually like bananas, do you, Jojo? I don't like bananas. No. Who doesn't like bananas? Just to throw it's... it out there. Who? I love bananas, but she doesn't like bananas. Do you know what? It's because I think I used to take a medicine when I was younger, um, and it was banana flavored. I don't know if anyone's had banana what flavored medicine. Medicine is that? That is not medicine. It's for an earache. Very and um, and ever since I didn't like bananas. <laughs> it just takes me back to that horrible time where I had a bad ear. Bless you. So, Everyone say R oh, to Josie. Oh. Hopefully you can see my banana shape. Hopefully, I see we did that. Hey, I hey. Totally see that. she's even got buns herself. Hopefully. I totally meant to do that, guys. No, really. <laughs> Have you got your banana shapes? Dun, da, da, da. I'm gonna just pause it every now and again for a few seconds. Just so that you can catch up. But I know there's a lot of lines going on here. There will be on yours, but you will have to go through and rub some of that out eventually. Um, but yeah, you've got your banana shape. Let's um, go to the body part of the whale. So, so guys, we are on different platforms. We're on YouTube and Facebook. So if you're answering, we collate all of those and they go to the first person. So sometimes you might think you're first, but somebody else is first. And we're not in control of this, guys. So please bear with us. If we get it wrong, we're going to try to rectify it. But we're not in control. But Facebook and YouTube, all your answers and comments go through at the same time. So bear with us. If we get the person who doesn't get that specifically right on time, then we're going to try our best to rectify during the show. Please promise. We'll do it. We'll do it for you guys. If you don't win today, you can always buy one of our art kits online anyway. We have um, our online shop where you can buy your art kits. That's true. Artsidbiz.com. Uh, What's our shop? She's in. Also, we have a competition running on our Instagram at the moment. <laughs> we're giving true. away an amazing isolation package. It's the perfect. Ultimate. The ultimate isolation package. So you can go in and enter that as well. So there's a good chance people can win on that too. 
So, guys, we're going to do this body now. And as you can see, I'm going to bring this round. So this is the nose. This is the, the flat part of the nose there. Um, we're going to bring this around, and then we're going to bring it all the way down, and then we're going to do a little lump for the, the top of the head, okay? So, bringing this round. So, we're going to bring around for the nose, and then we're going to bring this down. And keep it quite parallel with this little curvy line that we did, the banana shape. You can keep it quite parallel with that. Hopefully, you guys can see. So as I said, guys, we've only been doing this for, um, especially the online events, we've been doing it since the beginning of lockdown. So um, are we on the ninth one now? Yes, we are. Something like that, the ninth one. So that's the parallel bit. I like to do a little hump bit just for the kind of top of the head. Is it ninth, maybe tenth? So guys, we've been running this since the second week of lockdown. So I think this is our tenth week of doing these. Like I said, we usually do it on Friday nights, but this is a Wednesday, but it still feels like a weird Friday to us. It does feel like it a Friday. It feels like a Friday, doesn't it? I don't know what time of the week it is anymore, really, do we? That's why having our events, it keeps us in check. Yeah. It lets us know what day it is. Keeps us, yeah, it definitely keeps us entertained as well. So we've got the body part. This bit's going to be rubbed out. So that where I just did that little hump for the kind of top of the head, that that line there can be rubbed out. You can straight away rub that out. Should we you tell you who's got the last answer right, Jojo? Go for it. So the question was, what... No, that wasn't it. That was... <laughs> <laughs> so it's why do Wells cross... Why did the well cross the road? Obviously, Wells don't cross the road, but it's a joke. It's a joke, guys. Don't take it so seriously. So it's why did the well cross the road? The answer was to get to the other tide. Hey! hey. So the person went right, and first was Hannah Shields. You're oh, on the board, Hannah. Hannah. Well Shields. done, you. Come on, Hannah. Yes. Like it, like it. She gets my yes, humour. We're the same, Hannah. We get it. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to do them flippers. Um, I'll show you the flippers as well. Show them, Jojo. They're kind of like V shapes almost. Can you see this one's like a V shape going down? It's a little bit of a wobbly one, but it's a wobbly V shape. And then we've got this kind of, um, I don't know, pointy kind of flipper over this side as I'll well. I'll to sneak in behind you and a little sip. sip. <laughs> have a sip, guys. Make sure you have a sip every now and again. So we're doing another little flipper here. Let's get on to that. And then we're nearly done. We've nearly got the sketch started. We can get on with the painting. Love it. Well done, so, bro. I know this is very confusing because all of my lines are really, really heavy, but we're going to do that V-shape and it's going to be um, in the middle of the whale's body. So bring it down. It's probably underneath that main um, kind of line where we separated the canvas. It's going to be inside this little sliver of a body and it's going to be just here. So we're going to do a little V-shape and it's going to be a flipper just like that. Let me know if you can't see this properly at home, guys. If you can't see it, guys, let us know in the comments and we'll struggling. try and make it better for you. If there's anything you're struggling with, let us know. We've got one flipper. And we like to bring another flipper in and it's going to come over here. It's going to be on the other side of the top part of this canvas. I like to kind of bring it up. Like, imagine um, you're going from the flipper. Oh, they're calling that the tip of the snout. That's what they're saying. The snout, yes, the snout. The snout, guys. Well I, said, done. I said the nose, didn't I? <laughs> she said the nose. nose. It's a snout. It's a snout, guys. So if you bring it up here. So imagine imagine going to the, the body part. So can you see that underside belly bit? Imagine going from the flipper to the underside belly part and bringing that line across. And this is around about where you're going to want to do your other flipper. So we're going to do that flipper too. So you're going to bring a line out, bring it down a little bit. And then we're going to do that other flipper. Love it. No judgment. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So we've got that lovely flipper. And it's time to rub out all them lines, guys. So you can see, you can see where the whale is now. See where the like underbelly part is, where the throat bits are, and then you just need to rub out all these other lines. So especially where you see the arches behind the whale, that's not going to be there. You're going to paint over the top of that. So Time you want to rub, you want to rub that out. I'm going to rub all these out. So while she's rubbing those, guess what's happening? Another dad-related whale joke. Okay, so this one. What do whales need to stay healthy? So what do whales need to stay healthy? I believe that you're going to get this, guys, because I trust you. There's some quick quick answers on there so you get it right you go on the board you go on the board you can win some prizes come on i believe in you let's do this guys 
So guys, like I said, make sure if you haven't already, donate to the Natural History Museum. This is all for free and their doors are always open. We appreciate any donations that come through and this means that there's more events like this that can take place. We all love going to Natural History Museum for free, don't we? So yeah. Let's give him a little bit of a generosity right now. Let's give him some love. Let's give him the some Natural love. Natural History Museum. Where, where, where you know do you come from today, guys? Where are you all from? We're from London, Have guys. I don't know if you guys are from London. If you're from London, give us a wave. Where are you watching this from? Let us know. But well, really enough, the Natural History Museum holds a little special part oh, in yeah. our hearts. <laughs> it's where, right. it's um, where me and Elliot went for our first date. Oh, emotional. Back. Emotional. Seven, eight years ago about, now. Yeah, seven or eight. Seven no one's keeping count. No one even cares. Anymore. But yes, this was actually the place where we had our first date. And it was quite a memorable time. So obviously still together. So, Yay. big up Natural History Museum. Love it. Let's, let's help them out. I'm still rubbing, guys. How are you getting on at home? Let us know in the comments. How's yours looking? Is yours looking good? Are you scared? Are you, how are you feeling? What part of the roller coaster of emotions are you feeling right now? We find people that are a little bit anxious to start with. They got, they, you know, some people start sketching and they um, they don't like what they're doing or they don't like how it's turned out. But don't worry, once we start getting onto the painting, um, it will look really good. It will start, it will start coming all together. So I'm rubbing my lines out. Mine are really, really thick, so I'm having to She's going rub a little bit harder. Okay, it's coming together. It's definitely coming together. Have a sip, guys. Have a sip. That's the sip, but you know what time it is. Have you got your sit, Jojo? Oh yeah, I think I need a top up though. Okay, I'll top you up, I'll top you up. I'm a nice person like that. So guys, um, if you are an artist at home, you can just work around the theme um, of the whale. So you don't have to do the, the basic kind of one I'm doing today. You can just kind of go with the flow on this one. You can do something completely different. You can have the whale kind of swimming in water. That's so true. It's just a theme. So do with it what you like. You don't have to do the arches behind either. We just you want could, you guys to the crib. You could, we actually had one um, at the Natural Me History Museum before where we painted Hope the Blue Well and someone did like a full on moonlight kind of background. Oh, that was epic. amazing. That was actually amazing. Really cool. Uh, some people painted the background pink as well. Some people just went for it, went pink. I think that's, that's pretty much done. I know it doesn't Almost. look like it, but it's as fast as I can do with my <laughs> rubber. And hopefully you guys can see that. I think it's um. I've got your sip now, JJ. Thank your you. Sip is there. Sip. I'm so nice. I think it's time to go for the background. Before that, let me give you the answer to the question. The answer was dun, 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 dun. So the question was, what do wells need to stay healthy? Did you get it? Did you get it? If you did, well done you. Well, the person who got it right first was Brogan McCurb. Go on, Brogan. Go on. Yes. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. What a great answer. Come on. I like it. Okay, so we're going to do the background. And as I said, we do really love you to get creative on this one. You can do the background however you like. Um, we're going to be, I'm going to be doing this one today. So it's like a, it looks like a bit of a stormy kind of sky. I love or that. A choppy kind of sea. It's if atmospheric. It's atmospheric. Can you see the at don't, don't let them miss out. Look at the atmosphere. It's atmospheric. <laughs> uh, we're going to be using a big brush for this one. Big it's a brush. large canvas that I'm working with today. So it's good to use a bigger brush. Um, so yeah, I'm using a big brush, size 12, flat. Um, and we're going to get, get working on this one, shall we? Love it. I'm going to do the grey version today. But as I said, we've got the, the turquoise one. Let me hold this up for you. Which is quite nice. And if you can see, it kind of goes into a gradient effect. So turquoise does look quite nice with the well, but I thought because we're doing the well in blues and I just didn't want to be like blue, 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 blue. <laughs> so uh, I thought we'd go for grey. Just Good to, to mix up. Mix and to show you that we want you guys to mix up the colours too. It yeah. doesn't have to be exactly the same. We want you to be as creative as possible. Art is all about expressing yourself. If you don't want to do this colour, go for a green well. Do yeah. whatever you feel makes you happy. Make it happy. Um, I've got um, my big brush and I'm just getting it slightly damp, so I'm dipping it into some tap water as I'm using acrylic. Guys, this is very important. Do not dip your brushes into your water. It happens a lot. <laughs> See, Lauren, Lauren Ferguson, you know what time it is. It's happened to us at so many of our events. Yep. People dip their drinks into, or their paints in their drinks. And, but guess what? They still sip. Yeah. They still sip their drink. Who's going right? to waste their drink? <laughs> Not me. I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, so I get my brush a little bit wet. So I did my brush sometimes in today, yes. Yeah, it's, it's annoying when that happens. <laughs> um, so I'm going to mix this colour. So I'm going to start with the lighter colour. And I'm going to gradually get into a darker kind of grey. So you can see the gradient. So it's starting with a really light grey, going to a little bit of a darker grey at the bottom. 
And this is a really important tip, and the one tip that you should kind of remember. It's a, sip tip. Today. It's a little sip tip. Sip tip. <laughs> um, and that is to always start with the lighter color first when mixing, um, especially when you're mixing a light color like gray. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to get through a lot of white if you start with the black. So if you put black aside and start adding white to get a light gray, you're going to be adding white for days. So it is really good to just kind of start with the white, take some white aside, and then mix the dark color in there to get your preferred color. Love it. So taking a bit of white to the side, we're going to make a very light gray. So I'm only going to put a touch, a tiny little touch, just a touch of black paint in there. So the black paint is pretty strong. You'll see how quickly it kind of goes gray. Yep, so we're getting that light kind of grey colour. And we're going to start painting that background. Yes we are, yes we are. And I'm going to use a motion just going back and forth with this big brush. So I'm creating kind of strokes going back and forth using one side of the brush and the other side of the brush. This is to create that kind of textured stormy look in the background. So just going back and forth. And you can paint up into the arch. Can you see that little arch bit? You can paint over that little edge as well if you like. Um, just so you make sure you cover that canvas, you don't want um, you don't really want some some canvas squares with no colour on it. So yeah, go, go slightly over the arch if you can, because we're going to paint over that anyway later. And start doing your little motions back and forth. Is that in the wrist? What's that sorry? Is it all in the wrist on that one? Yeah, it's just flipping back and nice, forth. Nice, nice flipping. Forth. See what she did there. She's full of puns. <laughs> She's full of puns. She said it's just me. So I'm bringing it into that colour, and don't forget the middle of the arches as well. So that's that's going to have that sky sea colour in there too. So going back and forth, back and forth, and then I'm just leaving it there, and I'm going to mix a darker shade now, and I'm going to start going a little bit darker. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of black. Love it. We got people from London. Regina Wade. Hello, hello, hello. We got Shiflada Jal. You're from London. Hello, people. We got Lauren Ferguson from Glasgow. Hello. I love the Glasgow so accent. It's so good. Slightly darker now. Casey Dillard from North Carolina. Hello, we see you. Louise Robinson from Derby. Love it. Yes. And she used to live or work next door to the Science Museum. That's so cool. Oh, what a great place. Museum. Got Jessica McCall from Milwaukee. Wow, we're international today. Woo. Love it. We got Bobby Brain from Suffolk. Yes. We're so good. So good. And Katie yeah. Frost from Nottinghamshire. You can bring a couple of these strokes into the top bit as well, just to add a little bit of a. We're all over the place, color. JoJo. International. <laughs> We've got someone from New Zealand, Kerry Yay. Howard. That's where Josie's sister is at the moment. Yeah, right, my Josie? sister. My sister met a Kiwi, and then that was it. <laughs> and then she didn't come back. She didn't come back. <laughs> but we love it. We went to see. We, we actually went. We, went. we went there for six weeks. We were only supposed to go there for four weeks, and then we fell in love with the place. And, and then we, we stayed extended long. our trip, and we stayed a long time. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It's ridiculous. So I'm just making sure to get in between them little arches. Remember that. Look, uh, not on the whale, but in between the arches, and go all the way around. We're getting darker and darker. You can bring some of that colour and blend it in quite nicely. You could do this completely block colour if you wanted to, or um, as I said earlier, you can do a little sunset behind or anything really. Big up the Lee family from Reading. I love Reading. Reading's really Reading. nice. The Oracle. I used to go to the Oracle quite a bit, do some <laughs> shopping there. Good place. Good place. <laughs> I've been there a few times actually. It's not bad. Joe Santongo from USA. Yay! Hello, Joe. Joe Santongo. Okay, so are you ready for another one, guys? Are you ready for a lovely art related dad joke with whale influences? <laughs> okay, so let's do it. So, what do whales do on a first date? Ooh, what do whales do on a first date? Ooh. Keep it clean. <laughs> let's go, guys. I believe in you. I'm going a little bit darker again, so just add in another touch of black. You see how quickly it goes down. It's a nice little spell, I like that. Nice mix. Bit, bit by bit. Mix and blend, my friend. <laughs> okay. If you can't see the difference that much, then um, you can just always add a little bit more black. Mine's not that different, so I'm adding a little bit more black here. We've got someone from your neck of the woods, Jojo. Someone from Crawley. Hey. Hello. Pad MWE. Hometown, Crawley. That's Hello. where Jojo's Crawley. from. Crawley Town. Town. Keisha Harriet says she's having a way good time. <laughs> See, the puns are coming out. Everyone loves a pun. 
in that background. Remember that there's uh, another kind of bit of that arch seeping through, so do that too. No, nope, the answers aren't that just yet, guys, but I'm liking it. Oh, no one's got the answer yet. I don't think so. I don't think so. It might be too hard. You can always paint the sides of the canvas as well if you're painting the sides of the canvas at home. Uh, painting on canvas at home, sorry. It's getting darker and darker. Adding more black to that mixture. Is anyone painting in a different colour at home? Has anyone done a different colour background? I've gone for the, the grey, but has anyone gone bright, purple, blue? I think we got some of our old sippers, guys. If you've been with, at one of our events before, please give us a wave. We have such an amazing community of sippers, yes, don't we? Yes, we do. We've got our little community page. They're called the Sipper, the Sipper, Sipper Society. Society. See what we did there? We're so smart. But yeah, we've had people come to our events since the very first one we had in this living room about nine weeks ago. So if you've been with us since the first one, guys, we appreciate you so much. And I think we're now on the Natural History Museum. Okay. Official YouTube is just bonkers. It just is it's blown us away. So exciting, guys. Here we go. So I'm just adding that a little bit darker. As I said, just bring some of them strokes up. Can you see how I'm going back and forth and put, like creating these little brush strokes, a little bit of texture? You can bring some up to the top as well. There's no rules, guys. Relax with it. Do what you feel like doing. Back and forth, back and forth. I think we're gonna go live soon to some people. We will, we so do a halfway we, mark. Yeah, so we kind of got in touch with some of our sippers who have been joining us from day one. Uh, some of our sippers here have done many of our uh, paintings and um, we got in touch with them and, and asked if they wanted to come live with us today. So we have, I think we're getting in touch with them and we've got a few of them live. I think we'll go live to one of them soon. Next five minutes, so at the half time stage we're going to go live, but we're going to tell you who got the answer right. Ha ha! Do you know what? There were some good answers. Some really good answers. So, firstly, firstly, I'm going to tell you what the correct answer is. The first correct answer or well, the answer in general was Netflix and Krill. Woo! Netflix and Krill. Guys, I think that's genius. So the, <laughs> the question was, <laughs> net. So that it says, what the world's doing the first day is Netflix and Krill. But, but, not only am I going to give the answer of um, the correct person who got that was KG Sandy. Well done, KG Sandy. I think you've actually been to one of our events before. Of course you have. I've seen you before. But you're yeah. going to give it to somebody else as well. Keisha Harrier, I liked your answer. You said this. You said... What did she say? Have a whaley good time. <laughs> and I like that answer so much. I'm putting that on the board. So KG Sandy, you're on the board. And Keisha Harriet, you're on the board too. Come on. Okay. So I've got a little bit darker just for that last little bit. Josie, I've got some good news. What's the good news? Apparently someone's liking my dad joke so much they've got a better one. They're gonna they're gonna tell me what their joke is. Yes, Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Okay. So it's where do you go to find out how heavy a whale is? Well, I'm ready. Where do you go to find out how I'm heavy a whale is? I'm excited. Oh, Come on, Mark. Make me laugh, Ruby. Well, wait. <laughs> yes! We like it! Mark, you made me laugh! You go on the board! Yes. Mark Freebie, I love it! You're on! You're on, Mark! You're on! Can anybody else give us some cool things? Mark, yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Mark. So you're going to want to make sure that most of this canvas square, especially around where the the window part, the arches are, is covered. Can you see how it's looking now, guys? How's yours looking at home? You can always bring in a little bit of lighter grey in there, just to create that little bit of texture. Ooh, it's a good little song. Turn it up. Okay, who's celebrating with us tonight? Press the sit bell, Jojo. Come on. Yeah, come on. 
It's a celebration. I know we're in quarantine. I know we're in lockdown, but we can still have a good time, guys. Yes. No one said we can't have a good time. The, the rules are you can still have a cheeky sip and have a good time. They're doing it. We're all sippers. What we do, we try to bring some good vibes and positivity. In lockdown or not in lockdown. That's what we do. That's what we do. I'm just bringing a little bit of white paint in some places and just bringing it through so you can see the texture of the brush strokes. Bring some of that dark bit up as well. Woo! There we go. It made a bit too much. It's got like a nice little salsa bar, this little whiteness. So we're going to go live to a few people in a jiffy. In a second. You can actually bring in some other colours into that background as well if you like. If you wanted to bring in some warmer colours, you can mix like a, a tad bit of um, a light yellow colour. I just I use a bit of white to the side. Just put a bit of yellow ochre in there. And you can bring some of that. I don't know if this is going to be too young, but you can bring some of this yellow in some places as well if you can't see it. Guys, no, rules. no rules, guys. So, guys, Apart if you are, no yeah. So, guys, the only rule we have in here is no judgment. I hope you're enjoying yourself, guys. Like I said, this is our first year doing art sippers, and this is our first time that truth is in. If you do like it, we've actually got some really good news. Yes. Really good news. We're actually going to be doing this three more times. <laughs> so, if you do enjoy what's going on tonight, or is it tonight? Is this say tonight now? I'm just going to say, yeah, tonight. So, we're going to be doing it three more times. We're going to be doing it on the 24th of June, three days after my birthday. Just saying. If you want to give me a present? Very, very much accepted. Um, Gemini season. <laughs> then we're going to do it on the 29th of July. We're going to be we're painting. Not, no, 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 not that first one. Is no, it? no. 24th of June. No, the first one. We're not doing that anymore. Oh! We're doing a B. She's fully just correct to me. It's so true. We're actually going to do a B. We changed it. We're going to be doing a B on the 24th of June. And then on the 29th of July, we're going to be doing a dinosaur, a T Rex. Oh, we, we could go for a vote on this. That's one. true. Go on. We, tell could, them. we tell could easily them. go for a vote and go see if, if you want to do awesome. the butterfly or the bee. What do you guys prefer? A bee or a butterfly? We'll, we'll put it in the Super Society and you guys can have a vote. That's we, true. We, we can do a vote. We'll, we usually what do votes to, to check what you want to paint each week. And our Super Society members, they actually tell us what they want. They literally control our system. It's hilarious. Um, and on the 26th of August, we're going to be painting a giraffe. Love a giraffe, and we've always got to paint that. So, 26th of August, 29th of July, 24th of June, three days after my birthday. Just saying, we're going to be doing it again with Natural Museum. This is going to be oh, good times. It's going to be fun. Good times. I'm just going to quickly show you um, the arch. I'm going to paint it in yellow ochre. So, so you can paint it something different at home. Um, but I'll teach you this bit and then maybe we'll be live to some people. Sounds so, good. just make sure you cover the whole. I'm using the big brush again. Big brush. And um, just because it's again, it's a large area. I didn't rub out my line there. Oh no! It's okay though, it's okay. No judgment, Jojo, no judgment. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to be painting this, and you, if you want to use your medium brush at any time you can, I'm going to do a couple of layers um, of the yellow ochre, and then I'm going to do um, a top layer of gold. Uh, gold's really nice, it just splits nicely in the light, um, but I like to put the base layer down as this kind of yellow ochre. So I'm just going to keep doing that. I think maybe we can see if anyone... Yes, we're just going to have one more joke because I heard there's another good joke in this room. If it makes me laugh, you go on the board too. Have a sip, guys. Have a sip. Okay, Jojo, have a look at this joke. Let's see if you like it. What do whales like oh, to chew? So Ooh. Mounty Nut is giving me this. If it makes me laugh, you go on the board. What do whales like to chew? I can't think. Come on. Blum, <laughs> Do you know what? It tickled like me. It. it tickled me. Montina, like you're on the board, Montina. Montina, come on. And now I think we might go to a few people. Why do we stop having bubble gum at certain ages? Because it hurts your jaw. It hurts your jaw. Here we go, go live to you. Who's in the house today? Do Let's we have see. Iron Beige? Iron Beige here? Yeah. 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 Hello, Beige. Hello. 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 You it's two. okay, Mr. Singh. <laughs> These two amazing humans have been to our events before. We've got Ilham Beige and her son Asad, aka okay, Little Lion. Lion. <laughs> I love I'm the berries. the berries. You've got the berries. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's so good. Oh, have you done it? Have you done your work? Yes, yes. I'm doing the ballerina one. 
Oh, it's got a little dress on, yes. Yes. It's so creative. It's so <laughs> what we want. We want everyone to get creative, and you've done for it. Marina Hope. Oh, that's amazing. Love it, guys. Job. In the comments, guys, give them a clap, guys. Give oh, them a clap. God. This is what we're talking about. Not only do they look like oh, lovely little people, yes. Yeah, yes Where's my sip? I'm gonna sip. There we go. What are you sipping on? <laughs> what are you sipping on, guys? Um, syrup. <laughs> we have. Um, yes, it's really nice. It's pomegranate syrup. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh. Well, I like nice. it. It's French. Cheers. Okay. Cheers, guys. Everyone yes, raise yes, your hand. Yes, yes. Are you having a good time? Are you enjoying it? Yes, we love it. Thank you so much. We love oh, it so much. It's so good to get a family painting. This Thank is what you. we love. Bringing people together through art is just the best. Guys, we appreciate you so much for joining us. I love your little glass. Thank you, guys. We we'll show you later. Oh, lovely lovely rest of the show. We'll see you at the end, possibly. Take care. Yay. Bye bye. Come on. Oh, being very careful with our regal glasses. It's so true. <laughs> Guys, these are the most dangerous glasses. Josie so has broken all of our glasses. So I broke all our big sets. I'm a bit scared of spiders. <laughs> and bless Josie, she's actually going to collect the spiders with our glasses. And guess uh, what? For, for some strange guess reason. What? Obviously, they break. Obviously, <laughs> I did. I actually used a wine glass. I don't know why I decided to use a wine glass to get the spider off the roof, but it was just a bit too high, and I was like, okay, I'll use a wine glass, and it won't be so close Who to the spider that? that way. Who and does this? That? This one. So, so we've got some lovely Riedel glass. They are dainty, but big up Riedel. We love it, you. It's good because I don't have to tilt my head back. It's got like a little curve to it. <laughs> my berry always falls off usually. So, are we going to go? How, how, yeah, is there anyone else we can go live to? I'm going to quickly try and do this by, while we, um wait, I think, um is Luke coming up? We might have the Stanton. I think we might. The Stanton. So the Stanton, Luke Stanton, has been with us from day one. And he has created some amazing artwork. He has he, actually got a nice signature, hasn't he? He always goes for a little signature. Tash. So, so see if you guys can see it. I don't know if we're at the oh, stage yet. Yeah, he's done. That stage yet, I don't know if he's at that stage. But Luke, if you're there, let us know. We want to see you. Oh, okay. uh, I think he is. Yes. I can see him. I can see him. Hey, Luke, how's it going? Yeah, it's not too bad. I don't have a flash on it just yet, but I do have another one to show you that does have a mustache. Oh, come on, sir. Oh, yeah, show us the old one. Yeah! Yes. So oh, oh, sorry, guys. Show them the tash. Show them the signature tash. <laughs> you can see it. You can actually see it. So he does this on all of his artwork. At the end, guys, we'll tell you to make sure you sign your artwork. Everyone has to have their little signature. His is the little tash, the nice little tash. Look at that, the merman. He's got the merman. Of course yes, he's got the tash. Yes, I love it. So this is what we love. People are starting to get creative. He's got, like, very, got, hunky, like, calories. He's got a very hunky <laughs> mer mermaid. We, we painted a mermaid that week. Yeah. Have you got paint on you, Jojo? I that, actually, was that was Mariner. Maybe works. Love oh, we're it. loving we that. Love your merman. What, did you, what did you call your merman? That was Marinus. Marinus. And what did you call Rodrigo the Flamingo? Um, I think I called him Rocco. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> love that. Classic. Why is Rocco in one life? Guys, this is what we love. You always have to name your painting and sign your painting and have a little signature. If you have a little moustache, make it yeah. a moustache. How are you finding it today, Stanton? Yeah, it's good. It's good so far. I'm. Um, I can fit a mustache on this one as well. So maybe it's happening. We all want to see it, guys. So have, what stage are you at now? What stage are you at now? How's it going? Um, where am I at the moment? This is where I am at the moment. Oh, I'm liking that. Check that out. He's there. He's with oh, you. Oh, beautiful. He's you're, with about, you. you're about the same as me. So I'm on track. Yeah. Well done. I'm, 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 I'm on wine tonight. Hey! Yes. Red, red wine. Cheers. Let's raise a glass to Stanton, guys. Thank you, Stanton. Stanton is our community lead and our super society. We gave him that role because he's just ace at it. He is so. a special, special <laughs> human. So, guys, if you want to join the Super Society, it's on Facebook. Just type in the Super Society, the Good Vibe Track. And the Stanton right there, he looks after everyone because he's the nicest person in the world. So join them. And this is a great place to share your artworks, meet like-minded people, creatives, and we love people kind, generous vibes that we have in that little community. So if you want to join us, he's the guy you'll see. He'll 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 wave you. He'll give you a little hello. Let's raise it. Give me a little clap. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. We love you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you.
So I'm carrying on painting my arches. See, as we were saying about the Sipper Society, it's um, a, great, a great place to kind of connect to other sippers and to share your work. So we do love people sharing their work after this. And we find that there's a lot of people who create art that's never actually seen. And what's the point in that, guys? It's so true. Um, it, art is there to either be um, gifted or hung. I that's think. the rule. That's the rule. So don't put this into a cupboard, guys. Make sure you get this to somebody. Art is the best thing to give as a gift. We find that mums like it, grandparents give it. It's a great it's a great gift to give to someone. So make sure you give it to someone. We'll put it on the wall. So, mum, if you're there... My mum's birthday tomorrow. Oh. This is for you. <laughs> She's basically making her mum's birthday gift. That's cheeky. That's very cheeky. I see what you've done there. You don't want this one. This one is very... um. No judgment. Yeah, no. I love it. It's great, right? <laughs> but no, guys, you, you, want, you, want to, you might want to take your time at home. That's totally fine. If you take your time, if you do extra layers. Acrylics um, dry quite quickly, so you can always layer up. If you can see the pencil marks coming through, if you find that... If you haven't done a very straight line, you can always kind of layer it up and paint over the top, make it thicker. So we find that people at different stages, but if you get to a stage where you're like, oh, I'm, I'm good, we always say, don't go too far. And if you do finish, send it to us, guys. At us, Art Sippers, and then at the Natural History Museum. We're going to feature as many as we can on our Instagram oh, page. Special wall of we fame have too. a wall of fame. So, if you, <laughs> so we showcase all the arts, as many as we can, on our wall, and we love to give art appreciations, like a little gallery on our Instagram. Yeah, yeah essentially, that's exactly what it is. We put up pieces of work, um, we put up as many as we can, really. There's no judgment. We don't pick the best ones. As many as we can. We pick. We just pick some, especially those that send it to us, because then we have it, <laughs> of course. So I'm doing my arches, and you guys can do a couple of little layers on that one. My, as I said, my, my paint... Um, hasn't painted on very thick, so I definitely want to go over and do another layer at the top. But I actually just do a layer of gold. So I've got my base layer there, and I'll actually um, do a little top layer of gold. But you actually want to make sure that that dries before you add your top layer. So fan it down if you want at home, if, you're, if you've got gold. If you haven't got gold, that's totally fine. You can just um, keep it a different colour. You can always add some, I don't know, glitter paint or... Nail polish. <laughs> nail polish is good as well. I heard someone use their nail polish the other day on their work. It works quite well. So, so I'm going to ask you a question now, guys. This one's a bit more arty factual. Ooh. Is, it a <laughs> is this not a joke? No, this is actually a real arty fact. So this isn't a joke. This is actually real. And I counted every single one of these to, to make sure it's right. So the question is, how many calories can a blue whale consume with every mouthful of krill they eat? Yes, I'll say again. How many calories can a blue whale consume with every mouthful of krill they eat? And remember, krill are really, really small. small and a trips. whale is humongous. So if you can give me to the T how many in thousand you go on the board. I believe in you guys. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. So guys, as we said at the beginning, um, the, the museum relies heavily on donations to keep it going. Um, and obviously it's a difficult time for everybody right now. So we would really appreciate if you could make any kind of donation possible to the Natural History Museum. You can go on their website and find the link everywhere. Um, everywhere. <laughs> Somewhere. Um, but it's nhm.ac.uk forward slash donate. Please do it, guys. This is all about spreading love to this lovely institution of charity that are basically given back to all of us. We get to see all the specimens. Yeah, exactly that. And if you'd like to support us today, guys, if you're enjoying yourselves and you'd like to support us, please give us a little follow on Instagram, oh, do it, on guys. Facebook. We're at Art Sippers on most things. And we've got some great competitions. And we also, like we said, do this every Friday night at 7 p.m. So if you want to get arty with us, guys, join us on Art Sippers and you'll find that you have some good vibes and everything goes on there. Good people too, the Sippers. We call them Sippers. Sippers, Sippers. I'm just actually just painting my gold on before it's dried, but you guys might want to um, wait for that kind of layer to dry at home and then add your gold layer on top. How's everybody going getting on at home? Watching from Italy, Hazel, How, how how's it going? Got Jackie, hi Jackie. Hello Jackie. Hi Katie. Got people from all over the place. Has everybody got paint all over themselves? I've just got paint <laughs> everywhere. I don't even know how I did that. So who's getting these oh, questions right? Happens. It looks like some people are getting them right. This was a hard one. I told you I count every single last krill, so I know. 
make sure you're, um, you, it might be better if you're kind of leaning your elbow on something while you're painting, especially if you've got your easel out. It's a lot easier when you're kind of leaning on something, using your wrist and your fingers to paint. Or on the floor if you prefer to have um, the, whatever it is, canvas or paper. What materials is everyone using at home? So if you haven't um, used paints today, what are you using at home? Is anybody using their iPad? Is anybody using colouring pens, pencils? What are you using at home today? Let us know. Uh, what's our unwritten rule, Jojo? Oh. Oh, tell them the unwritten rule. That's no. Not... Googling. Aha. So guys, the questions are all about you using your mind. And if you get it right, you go on the board. Google is not allowed. It's unwritten rule. You're not allowed to Google. You can't Google in quizzes. So you can't Google for the art sippers, artifacts, and joke puns. But the question was, what was the question? I'll tell you. How many calories can a blue whale consume with every mouthful of krill they eat? And I counted, and, <laughs> and it was 457,000. That's a lot of krill. The person who got it right first was KG Cyber. You're quick. KG Samba, you are Wait, so good. quick. It's really, you're on the board for the second time. And you know what? I'm going to put someone else on board. So, Pandemonia, you're on the board too. Well done, Pandemonia. I see you. Well done. She's got it from YouTube. Yes, come on. Come on, Pandemonia. She's up. Okay, so now we're going to paint this underbelly. Where all these uh, throat grooves are on the, on the whale. And um, we're going to paint this a white colour. Yeah, a white. We're going to have slight blue bits coming through. The under, underbelly of a whale is actually slightly yellow. So we're going to paint it white. So I'm using my white paint. Big brush still. As I said, guys, move to your medium brush um, or your small brush at any time that you feel necessary. But I'm using my big brush. Big brush? I've got a lot on my brush right now. It's a lot for canvas. So we're just going to completely cover. I know that I know it's already white, but you actually want paint on this. So. Make sure you just cover the whole of this underbelly, making sure that you cover your pencil marks in white. So colour it all, paint it all in. Oh, I like this one. I like this question. He's going to come in. Come in. He's going to come in. So guys, who are our movie buffs? If you know, the Natural History Museum is a great location, as you will know. So lots of films actually are set there. But I'm going to give you this one. Here we go. Keep that in mind. What film, released in 2014, used the Natural History Museum, Hinsley Hall, as a significant setting for the movie? Ooh, ooh. I think a few of you might get this. Well, if you've seen the movie. If you haven't, then it's quite hard. But if you, if you have, tell me the answers. The first person who gets it right goes on the board. If you go on the board, you can win prizes. It's worth it, guys. I believe in you. I told Elliot to include this one the other day. She did. Day. She actually did, guys. Because you know what? I, I was watching she it was watching on TV, and I was like, that's going to be great to you. That's a hint. That's a hint. Was it on recently? It was on, uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it was on TV. Here we go. Yeah, it must have been on TV. Oh, it's a nice little song, Jay. So go on, Lily, give me a dance. Oh, she's dancing now with the strokes. Sip, sip, guys. What are you sipping on? Okay, this is the time. This is where we start dancing, guys. It's a celebration. Come on. Woo! Who's dancing? Who's celebrating with us tonight? This is a Wednesday. I know it's not Friday, but we're still allowed to have a good time. I'm going to dance with my side I'm going to top up. Top hey. up, guys. Hey. What are you sipping on, guys? Are you enjoying yourself? This is our sippers. That's what we do. We just dance, create art, and have good vibes. This, I'm sitting down again. So make sure you sit with us, guys. Sip, sip, sip. Sip, sip. sip. Hooray. Come on. I'm back. I'm seeing some answers. I'm seeing some good answers. There's some really good answers on there. But who got there first? Who got there first? If you got it first, woo, you're on the board. Oh, this is a good song. Come on. Oh, I don't know who this is by. What's it? <laughs> dance, you'll be treated to a dance every Friday night if you join us at 7 p.m. on our Instagram. On our Facebook, Elliot always gets involved and does a little dance. I him. actually can't control myself. So I've painted that underbelly. 
Definitely got a lot of pencil markings coming through on mine, but painting over them slightly. Okay. You can add now a little touch of blue in there. I do like to give it a little blue colour. I'll show you how it you see that? It's got a little bit of silver in there, so it's kind of reflecting in the light, but you can see just touches of blue in there. So we painted it white, but I'm just going to add a little Ooh. touch of blue to some white now and bring in some blue. As I said earlier, always start with the white first. Always start with the white, guys. It's a great little tip, and it saves your white. Isn't that right? It is, yeah. White, you, need, you always usually need a big kind of... Um, Tube of white. You run out of white. Really quickest, right? I'm adding some cerulean blue in there. We're gonna run white in there. So it's just oh, a... it's coming back in. I'm out to dance again, JJ. Come on. Pale blue. Woo! Come on. This is our simplest. Are you guys having a good time? If you are, please let us know in the comments. Like I said, this is our first ever event with the Natural History Museum online in our living room. This is mental. Yeah, we're doing three more guys, like I said. 24th of June for the Bumblebee. Or the butterfly. I don't know. We're not sure. It's up to you. And we're doing 29th of July, Dinosaur T-Rex. And 26th of August, the Giraffe. It's a celebration, guys. Sip, sip, we're right. Come on. Bring some blue in there. So I'm using my big... Actually, I'm going to go down to my medium brush because I feel like that's being neglected by now. Being neglected the medium brush. Very important. <laughs> Use a medium brush. Am I taking your sip, Jojo? No, I'm good, I'm good. So use your medium brush. Just bring some blue in there. Doing them throat. You can actually just bring... I need more, I think I need more. She needs more, she needs more. Oh, people are getting that question right. People are loving it. We got some movie so buffs. In the same direction that we did that banana shape earlier, bringing in some blue. These are the. the, 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 the. Hey, she's what? been sipping too much. Guys, did you hear that? She's mumbling her words. She's been yeah, sipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? It's not an alcoholic drink today, so I don't know what she's she mumbling about. It's very strange. I love <laughs> <laughs> I'm creating the effect of these throat freeze here by just going the same direction. I like that. Well, can you see? Just bringing some blue in there. Can you see that, guys? Very smooth. While the, way, while the paint is wet, it actually blends in quite nicely. That's true. Acrylics dry quite quickly, so it's good to move quite fast with them. Yeah, sometimes. Um, or you can just wait for that white to kind of dry and do really, really thin lines. Guys, this is going to be looking so awesome on your wall. Who are you going to give this to, guys? Who are you going to give your artwork to? Are you going to give it to your friend? Are you going to give it to a family member? Are you going to hang it on the wall? Yeah, if this is your first time, much, you must be feeling quite good. Hopefully we'll see them at the end when you send them in to us. But I love seeing the different array of colours and techniques that are used. We love it. Yeah. Here we go. Have any of you guys gone through that roller coaster bit where you're a little bit anxious and now it's kind of coming together and you're going on the up? Let us know if you felt that at the beginning, at the beginning if you felt a bit anxious to paint. A lot of people do, it's natural. Don't it's, worry, guys. it's probably our biggest barrier for people actually coming to our online, um, not our online, coming to <laughs> our live and in person public events. People get worried that their, their friends are going to judge them for it. So We have one rule and that's why we have it guys. No judgment. Yeah, judgment. Because we realise that once you do come to us and you have a room for no judgment and we get people to say hello to each other and it becomes a nice friendly environment. And when you feel relaxed you can express yourself whatever which way you want. And there you create something usually magical. And hopefully you want to do the same thing tonight. Even though we're not in person, I can feel you guys. I can feel you. We are doing a very, very quick session. Of course, this um, you could take a lot longer on this. You could take, I don't know, quite a few more hours on this if you want. So to don't do. rush. Yeah, guys, if you want to um, like just chill out at home and do this bit by bit, that's totally fine. Uh, you can take your time with it. Enjoy, enjoy the kind of process of it. Let yeah. me tell them the answer. Should I tell them the answer? Yeah, go for it. Okay, guys. So the question was: What film released in 2014 used the Natural History Museum Hinter Hall as a significant setting for the movie? Mm. We have two correct answers because they're literally neck and neck. We're going to give it to Braithwaite Kate. Wait, wait, <laughs> and we're going to give it to Kate. Regina Wade. Yes, Braithwaite Kate, she's been to one of our events. Hello. Hi, 
We love you. We do love That's, you. We're getting some of our old sippers. Yeah. Seriously, we're building the most amazing community, guys. And it means so much that you're coming and joining us Thank on you. Natural History Museum. Thank love you, you guys. So love you, Brave Weight Day. Love you. So I'm going to show you this again. We're going to start painting this body. So we're going to just paint a kind of face, kind of layer for the body. And we're going to paint it all this kind of cerulean blue colour. Cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. And then we're going to start adding some of these little highlights you can see just to make the well look a little bit more 3D, not so flat. Exactly. Um, so you can see lighter bits just here on the stout going all the way down um, and then coming around. And then you've got little bits flicking through the fin there and especially a little bit more at the body got down here. And then you've got that two-tone colour. So you've got the white underneath, which we'll add a little bit later. Um, and then you've got the kind of ultramarine darker colours, the shadows. So underneath the fin, underneath the top of the head here, just down the side, especially down the bottom bit here. It's a little bit darker. We're going to start painting this well now. Oh, sounds like a bit of an old school garage on this one. It does. <laughs> sounds like, uh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? So I'm, I'm actually going to take a bit of this cerulean blue. Um, I'm going to use a little bit, just a tiny bit of white. You're supposed to do it the other way around, but I actually did it the wrong way around this time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just taking some really blue and mixing it with a tad bit of white. And we're going to go and add that base layer of that colour there, that blue. I'm using my medium brush, um, but you can use your big brush. It's good to use a medium brush around the snout here. <laughs> Steady hand, bring it round, using your fingers to control the brush, up and down. That's a good little technique, I like that. Do it sideways then, so you can see. Up and down, to get that kind of straight line. Use what's on your brush and then get some more. Has anybody finished at home? Is anybody painting something slightly different? Are you experimenting with the whale theme this time? As Elliot said, we are back and we're painting. What are we painting next? Well, we're, we're going to throw it to you guys. We've got, and um, we had butterfly and bee in mind. So, butterfly or bee? Yeah, let us know what you like, guys. We literally throw the question out to the sippers. We paint what you want. So we have our Sipper Society members. They get the question and all the votes, and then they actually decide what we paint every Friday night. So if you want to paint a bumblebee, let us know. If you want to paint a butterfly, let us know. We will create what you want to paint. Does that make sense? That does make sense. I we think will it does. create what you want to paint. Yes. We will create what you want to paint. I like that. Almost rhymes. Almost rhymes. Almost. It's an off rhyme. Have a sip. Guys, I'm going to go in. I love having a guy over here. I think I'm going to go in for a question, Jojo. Go for it. Guys, just paint in that, that bit of the body. And the, and the flipper. I think it's going to go for a uh, whale pun right now. Let's do it. So, what do British British whales eat? Ooh, what do British whales eat? If you get it right, go on the board. Go on the board, you can win some prizes. You get I, the prizes. <laughs> I believe in you guys. Come on, let's do it. Who's going to get there first? Da -da -da. Oh, got a bit of a wobbly hand. There, then. Oh, I'm it's okay. You can always fix most mistakes. You can fix it. So I'm painting that body. Who's going to get this one? This is a nice one. I like this question. It kind of goes to a weird kind of stop down here, but I'm going to cover it with lots of um, these sea markings. And of course, you can carry on and do the full whale if you like. Remember just... to donate, guys, to Natural History Museum. All donations will be fully, fully appreciated. Is anybody painting the flutes at the bottom? Oh, flutes. Put the little flutes at the bottom there. People are getting these questions so quick. I'm almost, almost tempted to think some people might be Googling. If you're Googling, guys, no. Only you know. Only you can sleep at night. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to get the first person who got that right. I'm going to check. I'm going to go through and see who got the first correct answer. But there's a lot. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them coming in right now. Guys, we're smashing it. Well done. Very intelligent sippers tonight. He tested it out on me, and I didn't really get any of them. To be fair. Josie never gets any of them it's right. So bad. Ever. So I'm like, are they too hard? But I'm like, I'm just. She so just bad. doesn't get puns. So she just doesn't. It just goes over I her head. I really racked my brains as well for some of them. I was like, mm. 
up. So I'm painting that flip of blue too. Woo! You guys are quick. You're quick, guys. Just mixing up some more because it's run out. So mixing up cerulean blue and that white together. Mix and blend, my friend. Using my this is new. He didn't. He has never said this one. I've never said that, guys. Like I'm making it. that words now. Like I said, guys, this is our first time with the Natural History Museum. We're doing this from our front room. This is absolutely bonkers. Actually bonkers. We've actually really enjoyed doing these little lives. It's been fun. It's really been great. A bit weird just talking to ourselves in a weird way. Just talking to a camera. And a bit odd seeing yourself, but it's fun. It's true. It's, it's, it's good fun. I guess it's, um, I guess it's some entertainment. You guys make it fun. We actually connect with you guys and having you guys in this community that we built, the Sipper Society, it literally feels like family. It really does. So thank you so much, guys, all the Sippers who are with us on this random journey of our Sippers. This is our first year. We appreciate all of you guys. I'm going to give you the answer, guys. I'm going to give you the answer. Whoa. Let's go. So I'm just painting the other flipper. The question was, what do British whales eat? Great question. Did you get it right? There were so many who got it right, but who got it first? Joanna Lee! You're on the board. Go on, Joanna. You're quick. You're very quick. Joanna Lee, you're on Facebook. You smashed that. Fish and chips. Chips. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Come on, Joanna. Okay, how's your body's getting on? You should hopefully. I'm doing mine on a large canvas. I don't know if anyone's doing it on a bigger canvas than me. But if I'm doing it on quite a big canvas and you guys are using kind of A4 size at home, hopefully, you should have done this bit by now. So you would have painted that base layer now. Now it's good to kind of add some of these highlights, a little bit where the light's kind of hitting the on it's got a little bit lighter in it, a little bit turquoise looking. I don't think you can see that, it's a little bit yeah, turquoise you can see looking. Yeah, you can see that. So let's make that colour. Let's do it. So it's similar to the blue that we made earlier. So take some cerulean, uh, take some cerulean blue to the side and some white. So, as I said earlier, try, try and take the white to the side first and then the cerulean blue. I don't know if you can see that colour there, kind of like a pale blue. You can add some yellow in there and it will go slightly turquoise colour. Or if you guys are using, um, if you've got phthalo blue at home, phthalo blue is a beautiful colour. Can it you see that? Blue. It's lovely, guys. Phthalo blue will look really nice in the well. So you can add some um, white to some phthalo, phthalo blue. Really nice kind of turquoisey, greeny blue colour. And you can start adding that to the rails for you too. Love it. Are you guys using canvases? Are you using paper? What are you guys using today? I would love to know what you guys are using. I like to just add a tiny bit onto the snout at the top, down the middle. I'm using kind of, kind of sticking to the middle part of the rail. Adding some of them turquoisey flips. If you don't have daylight like blue, you can just kind of mix a bit of cerulean blue. I don't know if you can see the change in that, actually. I might add some white just so you guys can see it at home. The lighter parts, it's going to make your well look a little bit more 3D. It's not going to look so flat with a little bit of the light colour. Add in a tiny bit to the top of the flipper. And then a little bit over this side too. I'm going to show you again. So you want the lighter bits kind of there, the lighter bits kind of here, down here, and then you've got down the body, 
Can you see how the darker shadow bits, there's definitely on the snout there at the top, um, either side and under the skin. We're going to add that in a minute, but add the highlighted bits, the bits that are in slightly turquoise color. Can you see that, guys? I'm going to zoom it out just a little bit. There we go. Sip, sip, guys. What are you sipping on tonight? So we're going for another one. We're going for another one. Go for it. You sure you're ready? Okay, guys. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. It's, this one's about a killer well. So not a blue well, a killer well. So, let's do this. What do you call a group of killer whales playing music together? Ooh. What do you call a group of killer whales playing music together? This is quite good. This is quite a good one. This is quite a good one. I believe you guys. First one goes up on the board. Let's go. Come on. Any of you finding this very therapeutic at home? Has it ignited your passion into painting again? If you haven't done it since school. But lots of people answering these. Hi Jackie, hi Gabriella, hi Bethany, hi Elizabeth, hi Katie. Some adding some highlights now. My paint's still slightly wet, so it is kind of blending quite quite a lot. But you can always you can always wait for the paint to dry and then add that light colour. Mine's still slightly wet, just because of time constraints. It's a little bit harder. That's okay. Still, it's still um still blending quite nicely. How are you guys getting on? How are you getting on? Let us know, guys. Oh, there's some quick answers again. I thought this might be a hard one. I thought this might be a hard one, but you guys are not playing about. You guys are not playing about. Yeah. Oh, she's sipping. So good. Is it good? Sideshow's good. Sideshow's good, guys. You feel like you're kind of drinking alcohol in a weird way. It's, it's like, kind of like a... It's a good alternative if you're trying to cut down. Prosecco or kind of like champagne equipment, right? Yeah, I would say but like, like yeah. Equipment. Non-alcoholic version of like, yeah, Prosecco, champagne, but really, yeah, like, like you said, with mine's wooden, yours is quite nutty, right? Mine's really, kind of, it literally reminds me of, um, like, peanut butter, <laughs> it's, it's very strange. Peanut butter? Yeah, it's got that kind of, like, toasty, nutty kind of flavour. I've only actually, weirdly, started liking peanut butter this year. I actually never liked peanut butter, but... I love it. It's very strange. I don't know if you just get a quiet taste of it. Okay. I like peanut butter in a star bar. It's like peanut, peanut yes, butter kind of. Done there. I'm using um, some ultramarine blue. So this is a dark blue colour. And I'm going to start adding them dark bits onto the whale. So the fin at the top here, underneath the fin, underneath the whale here, and just at the line just where the underside of the whale is. So I'm just going to add that. I'm using my medium brush. You guys can use a small brush if you want. I'm just going to add, there we go. Guys, we're getting some amazing answers right now. We're getting some amazing answers. They're actually giving me a little bit of a giggle. Down there, like near the underbelly of the wheel. I can't wait to see your creations, guys, as Elliot said. Tag us on Insta, send it to our DMs or put on your story and tag us. Please do, guys. So we can see it. Have you got creative? Have you tried something? If it was your first time, it's totally fine. Um, or any time, really. It's totally fine to kind of follow my steps. But if you've got creative, that's really cool too. We want to see it. So try and do a smooth line. So my arches have dried, and I'll definitely go in and put another coat of gold on top of that. We actually had as well from our super society. So we have a range of different people joining us. So we have, um, we do have some amateurs, complete amateurs, but we also have some artists join us. And um, oh, one of our sippers, tell them the good news. One of our sippers put her artwork on a super society, and guess what? Mental. She sold it. She actually sold one, one of the art pieces one. from our class on Friday. So another sipper. So in a less than a week's time, she sold her artwork. That shows that you can create art. You can actually, you can, you can make a living off this, guys. You're asked that good. 
Pop it up there. Pop on your Instagram. Pop on your socials. Let people see what you created. You never know. Somebody might be like, I'll have that. I'll and have two of those. We actually had another sipper who um, put it up on her story. And, um, and one of her friends asked her if she would do exactly the same thing again um, for... A friend's birthday, she was going to give it to one of her friends, so she got her first commission piece too. So that's two sippers in one week. They were doing the Rodrigo the Flamingo, our mascot. There you go, Elliot, grab it. Oh, where's Roddy? So I'm just get to so a little guys, bit. This is one of the first paintings we ever did. Rodrigo the Flamingo, we painted that last Friday, and one of our sippers created something similar but in our own watercolor version and they sold theirs. I sold theirs. Crazy, right? So you can do all different versions. So she did a lovely watercolor version. So I'm just adding a little bit of shadow around the snout. You can blend this in with a little bit of, of your other colour that you had as well. My oh, wash your brush. Wash your brush. Why are you doing that? Can we give the answer, Sergio? Yeah, go for it. I can't remember what the question was now. So the question was, guys, da -da 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 -da, what do you call a group of killer whales playing music together? What do you call a group of killer whales playing music together? This one makes me laugh. It's a orchestra. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? The person who got it first and correct was KT Frost. Come on, KT. But someone also gave me a little tickle. They made me laugh. So you're going to go on the board too. And I'll tell you what they said. It wasn't orchestra, it was. I'll tell you, let me go find it now. What was it? What was it? It was. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Sha musicians. Woo. Come on. Shemusicians. That's funny, guys. Sha music. Like Either way, Lauren Ferguson, you're on the board. You made me tickle. You tickled my inside. You're on. You're on. Let's go. Like so. We got a few people on the board now, guys. We got a few people on the board. So I'm adding my kind of darker shadows. Show you again where the shadows are. Here we go. So just the shadows down the sides there. Just keep having a little look at that. I love the way it shimmers with the gold. I really do like that. How are you guys getting on at home? Are you at the same stage or are you a little bit behind? Let us know, guys. Let us know. Oh, we had some really good answers. We had Killer Band. We had Murder in the Dance Floor. Killer Krill. That's a good answer, Jack Creole. I like that. I really do like the way that it does it's just twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. So, guys, remember to donate to the Natural History Museum. It's nhm.ac.uk forward slash donate. If you want to, that is the handle. It's a great place, an institution, and a charity. And we all love it. We all get to see all the specimens for free. So, it's a great place. And it's close. It does make us a bit sad. It does. Because it's such a great place. And you can spend literally the whole day in there. And we have done that a few times. To be yeah. fair. Thanks, there we go. Yep, yep, we're good. So I think we're nearly finished with our whale, guys. You can spend a bit more time kind of getting it right. And um, let's just do this underside of the flipper over here. It's just a bit white. So just getting some white cleaner brush. Imagine you're kind of painting the bottom of the cup. So don't stub it down. Um, just imagine you're painting the bottom of the cup here. And then you can tap up. That's a good little technique, I like yeah. To, I like to use um, a paper towel as well just to kind of... Wipe my brush, any excess paint off. And I'm just going to add that kind of white. And I'm going to press that bell. <laughs> white colour just here underneath the fin. You can do a little bit of white on this side too, on this fin. Sorry, I'm just turning it just to get my angle. But you can do a tiny bit, just there too. You should, guys, have an awesome view out right now. We can't wait. I literally can't wait to see these. I cannot wait to see these. You can add a nice bit of um, muted yellow as well to the, the belly part here where the throat grooves are. I like to just mix a bit of white with a tad bit of the ochre again. Love it, love it, love it. I've got blue on my brush, so it's gone green. Wash your brush. <laughs> Make sure you wash your brushes properly. This is why we say 
So wash your brushes properly, guys, just so you don't mix those colors once you're trying to mix together the colors you are actually want on your canvas. Wash your brush properly, guys. And sip, sip. Um, sip, sip, guys. I'm taking that. I'm just going to do this tiny bit of yellow. I do like how warm it goes. Just to turn, it just adds a little bit of warmth to the belly. And it, as you saw on my other one there, um, I added some silver. So you can add some silver. I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow. Just going in the same kind of. Just a tiny bit. I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see how it's kind of matches quite nicely to the um the art side did. Okay, cool. How are you finding today? Yeah. Hey guys, I think it's time to go have the little fun moment with um, the, the back of the seat. As you can see here, I'll show you this one too. Right, here we go, I'm trying to hold you. So can you see how I've done the water in these? I actually do prefer how I did the water in this one. I went a bit overboard on this one, I think. Um, it's definitely less is more for the, the splashes, I think. So I would say just go very steady with this one, take your time with it, um, and just kind of, yeah, see how you're doing bit by bit rather than just going for it. Um, because, yeah, you can sometimes do a bit too much. It's fine if you do a little bit, like too much. That's, that's okay, it will just look like a very big splash. But um, less is kind of more with this one. And I do it in the, um, I do the wave just kind of splashing out that way. Mainly, um, a lot of the splashes are going in this direction towards the left hand side. And then I have a few little bits here. And definitely, if you can see, um, little bits of dots that just look like water trickling, bringing it down from the fin in some areas too. So it's time, guys, to use your palette knife. If you Woo! Have Before that, I want to ask them a nice question. Go for it. Okay. So guys, <laughs> so she's just sipping, make sure all the time. So if you guys know this, this would be quite nice actually, because it's good to know your history about the whale. So the whale skeleton, now on the state of Hinsley Hall, obviously Hope, got stranded on which harbour? What harbour did the skeleton that we now see as Hope, where and which harbour did it actually get stranded on? You know that. If I, if I ask that weirdly, do you want me to say again to clear that up? I think I've just like mumbled, mumble jumbled. So, the whale skeleton now on display in the Hinto Hall became, uh, is from a whale that got stranded in which harbour? What harbour was that? If you get that right, you go on the board. Simples. Simples. I believe in you guys. Let's simples, go. Simples, simples. Guys, if you wanted to do your second layer um, on these arches, now would be the time before you do the background, I mean the splashes. Um, so, yeah, do, do that second layer of... Um, Paint, if it's not come out clear enough, especially if you're using yellow and gold, it's quite light. So yeah, you can do your I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to continue, but you guys at home can do it. Um, grab your palette knives, so I'm using this one here, the pointed one. If you don't have a palette knife, grab your big brush. Big brush? Are you guys getting this right? Do you know your history, guys? Do you know your history? Do you know your history about Hope the Well? If you do, I'd be very impressed. So you could use your big brush, um, and you could just use the kind of side of it, so this bit here. You could use that kind of side of it. Be careful, use it very lightly, but you could actually put paint on the side, because uh, what we do with our palette knife is that we actually use the underside, we're gonna use the underside today. Um, we're gonna pop a bit of paint on there, and what we do is we very, very lightly kind of drag the paint over the painting to create that kind of effect. Um, but yes, you can use your big brush and you can kind of use that bit and do exactly the kind of same motion. Um, it is good to have the pointed bit for today's one for the splashes. Um, but yeah, just make do with what you've got. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some white paint, I think. Start with some white paint. Start with white paint? Yeah, so I'm gonna get some of this white paint and I'm gonna put it onto the bottom of the palette knife. And I'm, use, I'm gonna use quite a bit. 
I don't know if you can see, I just kind of popped it on the bottom there. Hopefully, I don't know if it's going to focus. Very bright. But you can see, there you go, you can see a bit of shadow. So I'm just going to turn a little bit here. And as I said, you're going to be dragging the palette knife along the canvas. Um, very, very lightly um, in, the, in the motion that you want the splash. So I'm going to be going like this way for the for the splash. You can either bring it down, you can bring it up, it's totally up to you. Um, but as I said, very lightly across the canvas. So if you go flat against the um, canvas, you're going to, it's going to just spread out and there's not going to be all these little um, flaky kind of bits of paint that make it look like a splash. I, I'll even show you actually what it would look like. So let's do it really lightly first of all. So very lightly dragging it across the canvas, barely touching it, leaving a tiny bit of a gap between the palette knife and the canvas. So we're going to go from this angle. Oh, palette knife, let's do it. Can you see? Can you see how it's kind of? Love that. Very, very lightly. Very kind down. of lightly. I see you holding it very, very slightly. If I was to do it like harsh and heavy, it wouldn't create that effect. Can you see? It's just unless you want that effect. Flop. Unless you, you want, want to go for that effect, that's fine. You want to go lightly. You want these little flecks of of a splash like motion. So we're going to do some white. Oh, let me see. He's got a question right first, Jojo. Go for it. Let me see. He's got it. Someone's really, really up to date with their facts. Someone's really on it. I love it. I love it. So the question was, the world skeleton now on the Spain Hinton, where did it get stranded? What harbour was it? The answer was Rexford Harbour in South East Island. Come on, who got it right? I know who got it right first. Cameron White. Well done. I want you on my quiz team. Pub quiz team, I want you Cameron right. You're good because you're fast. That's what I'm talking about. You're on the board. You're on the board, guys. You can do some bits of in the... The bottom here, this is the choppy sea. You kind of want to cover this little bit here where it just kind of stops the way it just stops. So we can do a lot of the splash around here. I'm loving that. So, what colours are you going to use in your lovely just trying splash? to get some of that paint off that made excess. it look quite thick. For your splashes. As I said, if you want to use your big brush for this, you get that paint on the side of your brush and you do the same kind of thing. Just lightly kind of drag it along. The choppy C down here at the bottom. This is where you can get um, quite creative. If you wanted to do flicks instead, if you wanted to get some paint on the top of your brush and do some flicks, you could totally do that too. I like the splash effect. We love the splash effect, guys. We're loving it. So you can it. add a different colour into there now. So I've got my white. I might go in with a bit of cerulean blue. So I've been there. Uh... Oh, she dropped her pencil, guys. She dropped her pencil. It happened. Tools get dropped. This is live. <laughs> it is live. Let's um, grab some cerulean blue. Not too much. Remember, guys, if you want it to kind of look quite... It's realistic, well, not realistic, but minimal. Yeah, it's realistic. Kind of, you So, guys, we've got 16 people on the competition wall right now. It is looking good. If you're on the wall, that means you're in with a chance to win some prizes. So, we want you guys to win some prizes tonight. So, 16 of you are on there right now. And we're going to try and get another person on the wall. So, question is, how many tons... Precisely. How many times does a skeleton hope the blue whale weigh? I've weighed it and it was very heavy. So, <laughs> so if you can give me the exact weight in tons, you go on the board. I believe in you guys, you've been really good today. This is to go on the board. Come on, let's do this, Sippers. Let's go. There you go. So, do my splashes. Might go in there with a tiny bit of ultramarine, which is really dark, but only a tiny bit. That's Just small. Bit. Guys, this is a good time to um, add a contrasting colour too. So I'm going in with a little bit of dark blue. I like that, Jojo. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
How are you guys doing on the home? What colors are you using? And you can you can do some um, a bit where you got a little bit down from the fin. So I'm using a bit of white here, and you can just kind of so it looks like water's coming off the fin a little bit. Get some splashes in there. It's a good time to kind of step back from it and let. Oh, we're bordering in two hours now, so we to do final touches, guys. Final touches. I think we're gonna go live to a couple more people, see how they they're doing at home. Let's have that contrasting color. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna add a pop of pink for this one. But I love the answer for pink, so I'm going with my fluorescent pink. I'm only going to do a little bit of this one. Again, stand back for this one. It is good to get a little bit of perspective on it. Always stand back, guys. This is a great time to stand back and have a cheeky sip, guys. Have a cheeky sip. So, guys, our usual events last between, is it, we say about two and a half hours? We always have like two hours, 15 minutes. I don't know why. Always, always just, just over. over. Just over sometimes. So, guys, sorry if we don't just say over. We said we'll try and be around this time. So, this is where you should be doing your finishing touches. Okay? So, you right? Yes. Finishing touches, touches, guys. Do your splashes. Do your splashes. Touch ups. Do your special textures. Sign it. Yes. This is the main thing. Please, sign your please order. sign it. You need to sign yours too. I she always forgets to sign her up, guys. She always forgets. But yes, please sign it, guys. Put your special signature. If you've never done a signature before, find one. Usually they do it on the bottom right of the painting. But you can be expressive. Do it wherever you want it to be. Hi, Montina. Hi, Lauren Ferguson. Hi, Jackie Cox. Percy Stewart. Cameron White. God, we've got a lot of you in today. How are you getting on at home? Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, I, know, I think it's time to go light. We can't so, see you, so let me tell them the first, the last question, sure. then we'll go live. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys. So, last question, then we're going to go live to you guys and see how you're doing at home. So, the question was, how many tons does a skeleton of Hope the World weigh? Ooh. How many tons? So, we've got the answer here as 4.5 tons. Ooh. That's very heavy. Because we went right first, Kirsty Stewart. Come on, Kirsty. Yes. You're in. You're in, Kirsty. Well done. So I think we might start going live some people, right? Yes, so, um, as I said, we got in touch with a couple of sippers yes. before um, coming live on the Natural History Museum. And we decided that we would love to go live to Kat. Oh! Now, Kat, as we, um, we actually told you the story about, sorry. <laughs> she was having a cheeky sip off camera. You didn't see that. And uh, we told you the story about Kat. She is the one that actually sold her artwork yes. um, last week. So she is an incredible artist. She's um, a, she I, I don't uses know, watercolors, doesn't she? She uses watercolors most of the time. I'm not sure what she's used today. She does experiment. Uh, so we'd love to go live to Kat. Kat, are you there? Oh, hey, Kat, yes. hey team. How you doing? How are you, Kat? How are you? I'm great. It's been so fun. <laughs> Pardon? How have you found today? Yeah, it's been really, really nice. Like I've got I've got YouTube on one side of the screen and then you guys on the other side of the screen. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Decided to make it difficult. Pardon? What have you been painting with today? Uh, you... Watercolors. Yeah. Awesome. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, the sippers want to see. The sippers want to. Yes. Yes, you did it. You did the same kind of style Come as your Rodrigo. Yeah. Fashion, you fashion. are something else, Kat. Incredible. That is so good. So, Thank guys, you. Kat comes to our classes quite regularly, and she usually uses watercolors. I'm guessing you use watercolors again. Yes. Yes. She uses yes. Colors. I think we might even Amazing. have a little question about watercolors before. Let's yeah. see. Seeing as you are a watercolor expert, uh -huh. how would you blend watercolors? How would you blend your watercolors? Because um, you watercolors hard to you. Yeah. Okay. So the best thing you can do is. Um, you want to basically make sure your page is wet first. So it's, it's a technique called wet on wet. So you wet your, wet your page first, and then you're gonna go in with um, your brush, make sure it's quite wet with the pigment, and you're gonna go over it and just make sure it's really smooth. Love and it. you can either try and blend a color next to it, but they can sort of like do a weird nice. sort of thing. <laughs> the best thing to do is once that layer is dry, go over it again and then put a second pigment down so they start Love to blend it. a little bit more smoothly. Amazing. Guys, are you hearing so these much? tips? 
KTGR. She's phenomenal, yeah. guys. Also, make sure you check out her Instagram. She'll probably end up selling that. Yeah. She'll probably end up selling that artwork. Yeah, no really doubt. Cool. That'll be amazing. Yeah, let's, see it again. let's see it again. Let's see it again. Come on. I want to see it again. So your um, tell us Love your Instagram it. handle so anyone can find you. Uh, yeah, it's uh, KTG underscore art 91. Amazing. Thank there we you go. so much. Guys. How you find it? You enjoy yourself? Are you sipping with what us? Are you sipping on? Um, I haven't sipped yet because I, I'm back in London now, so I'm really scared that I'm going to end up sipping these. <laughs> I've got a drink anywhere near my stand. Don't sip that. No, you don't recommend you sipping your paint jibs. Don't exactly. <laughs> Stay down for now. Thank you for joining us, Kat. Thank guys, you. check out our work. She's right, guys. This. Yes, have you, a lovely day. It's amazing. I love this. Take it's care. so fun. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Okay, let's go, go live to anyone else. Yes, let's go live to Anisha. Anisha. Oh, we got someone else. Let's do yes, it. she's come. Um, she's come to a lot of our arts at this. That is true, before. Anisha. She, she came in person actually to our event. She did. She She's came to, to one of us in Love Fulham, you, in London, and some other ones. We had our Christmas bonanza as well in the Aeronaut Act, and she came to that, which was amazing. So, Anisha, are you there? Come, come and join us. Oh, here she is. Hi. Yes, there she is. <laughs> She's got a drink in her hand. She's, she's sipping. She's sipping. Everyone raise their glasses to Anisha. Yes. Oh, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you guys? Good, yeah, thank you. This is crazy, oh. right? This is crazy. We're on the Mad Dish Museum website. Crazy. <laughs> It's crazy, right? It's so cool. Especially like for, from a year ago when I was coming to like your classes. when we were, like, one of our very oh, first yeah. events. Literally yeah, yeah. events to the public. So thank you for being you. with us on this crazy thank journey. You us the yes. whole way through. We really appreciate it. Yes, yeah, it's like, it's so much fun. And like, it's just like all a bit not taken too seriously. It's all just like fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. What have you made today? Let's see your best. People want to see what you created, Anisha. You're like, not not in anticipation. Wait, oh. look at the color. Yes. Is that like a wine? Yes. It's like purple wine. wine. It's like, it's like, yeah, like, um, wrote, um, fuchsia going into scarlet. Yeah. And yes. Then the blue whale. Oh, I love it. This so is what we love. People's love different takes on it. I love that color. It just makes Have the world Have you got any of your pop. other work there? Have you got your elephant? We yes. That's like, oh, I do. Yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> so, let's, some of our so incredible. let's have a look at some of our other work. Guys, she's incredible. Oh, appreciation. Oh, appreciation. There it is. Yes. I don't know the elephant. <laughs> I'm trying to clap for the glass. We're clapping like that. We're clapping like that. Guys, give her a round of applause. Honestly. My friends offered to buy this from me as well. Yeah. <laughs> are you hearing this? That's three people that have come to our class now that are saying that people are asking to buy their artwork. And all of these people are amateurs. Yeah, so Anisha, you, when was the last time you painted before you yeah. came to our first class? Oh, like, not ne not since never, really. Not since never. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> we find out people get better and better, and Anisha is someone who is literally getting better and better to the point that someone's Every trying time. to buy her out. <laughs> we can actually, you can actually see your style now. You're really growing into your own style. So yeah, especially during the lockdown, I've definitely been doing it so much more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still doing? Yeah, yeah. I guess you're joining loads. You're doing loads of different ones. Just saw all of your pile there. You've got a gallery now. You You've got a gallery. Look at this paper that I was using before, and now I've got an actual oh, canvas. Yeah. 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 She's up for the canvas, guys. This is what I'm saying. Once you start, yeah. you're going to want ones. to give this. Yeah. Bring the other ones, definitely. Please do. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much Thank for joining so us. Much. Let's raise a glass for Nisha, and guys, give her a clap yeah. for her amazing artwork. Sip, yeah. sip, hooray, guys. Sip, yeah. sip. Thanks, Anisha. So, guys, I think that is it. We're just going to do the competition. It's, it's time. We, yeah, you guys probably finished enough, like, the final little bits. But... Guys, it's time to do the competition. I think we're going to go back to the competition wall in a second. Um, Elliot, you ready to go to the competition Give wall? Give me un momento. Un momento. So I think just, that's Spanish for that one. I'm not sure. Does anyone know? <laughs> um, so, just to go over the prizes again. We have an art kit for two. So you get two palettes, a pack of brushes, some paints, and some canvas boards. We've got a gift voucher for two to one of our public events. You can come see us in person, yay! Just which one, right? <laughs> and um, 
And the other top prize, of course, is two tickets to Wildlife Photographer of the Year exhibition at the Natural History Museum. So you'll get them two tickets as well. And we've got quite a few people on the board. We have Lauren Ferguson. Hello, mm -hmm. Lauren. Elizabeth Lee. I think she's on there twice, right? Yep. Twice on there. We've got Hannah Shields. Brogan McCarvey. Come on. KJ Sambi. Keisha Harriet. Mark Freeby. Monty Nutt. One. You on there twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pen, I've got to try and read Elliot's hand right now. Pen, it's not that bad. Pendemonia? Yes, well done. Pendemonia. Kate Breakway. Regina Ward. Joanne Lee. <laughs> Ilan Asset. Katar Cross. Lauren Ferguson. Cameron White. And Kirsty Stewart. Congratulations, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. And just to reiterate, guys, find us on Instagram um, at Art Supers. Well, give us a follow. Enter the competitions on there. We're giving this beautiful, beautiful um, isolation package. You're going to want that. Um, and that comes with a whole art kit plus a drink. And um, we've also got our Facebook, the Super Society, which you can join, which is like a closed group. Um, and you can buy any of our art kits online um, on artsupers.com forward slash shop. So we have loads of different art kits birthday packages and all that. Do you know what? I'm going to take you for a little tour around um, some of the work that we actually do um, in other, in our live kind of classes. So I'll show you some of the other paintings. Yeah, some of the other paintings, guys. So Jay's going to show you around our little living room. So this is literally our living room, guys. This, is a this isn't a little studio. This is genuinely our living room. And you can see some of the artworks that we create. Elmo the Elephant, Afro We love that. Tipsy Tiger. Tipsy Tiger. Toby the Colonel. Blissful Buddha. Guys, this is what we're going to be painting this Friday. Woo, woo. So if you join us this Friday, Friday, guys, Friday. you can paint that. This is Lil Lion after Assad. So Assad, this is for you. This is the one that we painted with Assad. Love this one. This is so cool. Sorry, guys. I think I was like upside down. <laughs> We've got this one. Whoop. Lana, Nirvana. Lana Nirvana. We love this one. This is like an intergalactic galaxy. And then I'll show you something as well. This one's really cool because this was our kind of first introduction to a light up canvas. Do you want to see it, guys? Do you want to see it? Go, Three, go, two, go. one. <laughs> hey! So it lights up. It's quite quirky. Quite and of quirky. course, hope that you there. But we're going to create a new one for the next one. Be Let's right. go to the competition wall. So, we just, can we can cut to the Hello, guys. Oh, we're going to cut onto the competition wall. Here we are. So, guys, thank you for entering. Thank you for being so quick with the answers. And a lot of you have got on the wall. So, if you can see your name on there, well done. So you've got 17 people up well on there. Well done. I got it. Well done. Well done. Come on. It just gets better and better. Um, and, yeah, a few of you have got on there twice, so you get more chances to win. So, Josie showed you what there is to win. Top prize, the Natural History Museum Wildlife Photography of the Year. Come on, it's great. And then two tickets to Sippers gift voucher, and then a creative starter kit for two. So, the numbers are in here. I put all of your names, and some of you vote twice. I'll put you in twice. So, we're going to run them around like that in this lovely bin. It should be in my hat, but it's actually a bin. And, a and Josie is going to pick out the winner. This is for third prize right now. Third prize. Number, number four. Number four, Rogan McCarr. Rogan McCarr. Woo, 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 woo. So you get third prize. So please go onto um, our Art Sippers Instagram and send us your address. Come on. So, Brogan, you got a third prize. Well done to you. So, second prize, this is to come and see me and Josie in real life when it's not in quarantine or lockdown. You can see us. You can see us together. Um, and this is going to be the second prize. Who's going to win this? Who's the lucky person? Is that a seven or a one? That's a one. Yay! That's a one. Lauren Ferguson. Come on, Lauren. You have won a chance to see me and Josie when it's legal to do so. We don't know when that's going to be. Okay. So, we've got prize. top prize. Wildlife photographer of the year. Let's do it. Let's do it. Exhibition. Oh, I think one fell out. Let me throw it back in. Oh. There we go. One Pick fell out, go. guys. He shook it too hard. It's live. It's real. I got excited. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Who's that? Where's eleven? Regina Way. Yes. Regina. Regina. Yeah. And the second for Lauren. Amazing. Six. Yes. 
So for the person who, Lauren, Lauren, who won second, send us your email address. We'll get that yeah, email send it to, to us. you. Send it to a DM and we'll give you all those. And Regina, send us your details too. And we'll get you in touch with Please the Bethlehem Natural History Museum to make sure you get them tickets. Yes. Yes, guys. Guys, you're all winners. It doesn't matter. If you're not on the board, you're all winners for joining Art Sippers. Like I said, guys, this is our first ever year doing Art Sippers. And to think that we're now doing this to you guys on the Natural History Museum live is just phenomenal. We Thank would love you. to do this again. And we are going to be doing this again. So come and join us again. The 24th of June, where we're going to be painting the butterfly, all the bean. I'm going to be doing the dinosaur T-Rex on the 29th of July. We're going to be doing the giraffe on 26th of August. And please, guys, if you've enjoyed diary. yourself, please donate to the Natural History Museum. The Natural History Museum, so nhm.ac.uk forward slash. Oh, don't know what way it is. That way, that way? Is that way? I don't know. Forward slash donate. Guys, it's been a pleasure. We've absolutely loved hosting you. Join us back on and the main screen for the last dance. We're going to dance, guys, and we're going to dance Woo! our way out. Do you know what? I'm going to put it onto a nice little song to have a little skank with. Thank you, guys. Make sure to follow. Give it a Woo! Follow Instagram. All Come on. Follow our Facebook. Guys, Artifice. if you've got any artwork and you want to feature on our pages, please pop that. Over to our sippers at us and at Natural History Museum, and we're going to do a wall of fame of all of your amazing creations. I really hope you've enjoyed yourself. This is me and Josie in our little living room with our sippers, and we're saying cheers to you guys. Raise a glass and come on! Woo! Come on, guys! Thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Emma, Woo. thank you, Bobby Brian, Woo. thank you, Keisha Marion. Thank you so much. Come on. Hey. Gina Ray, come hey. on, yes. Hey. Aaron, you won, yes. Hey. Come on. Woo. Elizabeth Lee, Woo. thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Diane, thank you so much. Oh. Diane Who's salsa with me, guys? This is an outro. This is how we get down. It's a Wednesday night, but it feels like Friday now. Woo. <laughs> Sip, sip. Woo! Come on. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you next month. Or maybe on maybe on Wednesday. We don't know. Maybe on Friday. Come this Friday, guys. We'd love to see you again. Sip, sip, hooray.